This week on Clown College. You look like you have some interesting uh, opinions on Israel Palestine. (laughs) (laughs) I can't fuck with this. Uh, (laughs) If you lived over there, you could probably sneak in either way, though. Uh, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't wouldn't fuck with it. I wouldn't go over there looking like this. You shouldn't. Oh, yeah. (laughs) They might think you're a third party. Exactly. They'd be like Hamas, and they'd be like Hagen Dazs. They came with me. Yeah, I'm coming hot. He came in. I'm coming in hot. Yo, with your little, when, sometimes when you put that little ramp on your head, mm-hmm. I like it, but you look like Big Boy, <laughs> the burger chain. <laughs> we gonna leave that in. That was fucked up, man. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> but uh, hey, guys, so we want to say thank you guys for watching. And we want to do a little giveaway, right, JJ? Hell yeah, hell yeah. We love giving back to the community. Right, so look, Sorry, what we're going to do in the comment section, just comment with uh, the best roast of anybody who was on this episode, this particular episode, and we'll come together as a uh, Clown College crew. Yeah. We'll, we'll pick the name of who who we think had the best joke and whoever gets the most votes will win a $25 gift card Wait, on the so, Christmas episode. So is it us or is it the commenters? The they, commenters. Oh, so y'all get to win. They so get to win. So y'all can tell JJ he looks like Macho Man Randy Savage after he caught AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. But uh, that's it. Comment with the best roast and your uh, Cash App or Venmo. Heck yeah. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Quit playing. Please. Thank the you. best podcast out. We like it. Gang. This is the Clown College Podcast. We're just a couple open micers trying to make our way through the scene. Where we interview comedians throughout different stages of their comedy career, no matter if they're open micers, headliners, or traveling comedians. I'm here too, Jamie 2.0. I just talk a lot more. Damn it, Brandon. Go sit in the corner. Welcome back. How you guys doing? Doing good, doing good. Uh, Feeling yeah, phenomenal, glad dude. to be here. Uh, doing good. Doing good, Brandon. Oh, is yeah. there somebody else here? What's going on? Yeah, dude. We got four. It's a foursome. Mm-hmm. We upgraded yep. the Fantastic yeah, yeah, yeah. Four. Yeah. We, we, those, those don't usually go well for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, when you're the cameraman, it's pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I like to be a narrator <laughs> during during group sex. See, you're not the main guest, so I'm not going to introduce you. Introduce yes. yourself. <laughs> Fair enough. Yes, y'all. I'm Charlie Fisher. Maybe we'll be maybe switching to Charlie Swisher. I can't decide on that. We'll, we'll talk about it. Now. Yeah, we'll talk yeah. about it. Today. Charlie, Swisher. I need to talk. I need to talk to your later guest about it because he goes by. A, a pseudonym mm. so i feel like he'd have advice on that <laughs> well i don't know i'm not familiar with the culture maybe that is his real name but <laughs> nah, uh no no but glad to be here yeah i mean first off thanks y'all for fucking you know putting putting the huntsville scene out there and everything it's it's pretty cool it's pretty course, cool to man. see we're, i don't want to trying to and this guy right here mm-hmm. this right hey this is my dog charlie Fisher. <laughs> when, he, when he gets on stage if you guys see him <laughs> Just, just in for a good time. Hell yeah! <laughs> I, I, I you, never want to say anything anymore because there was one time you were on stage and you were like, "Does the crowd have any topics?" And I tried to help him out. Yeah. I knew he had a joke about headlights. I was like, right. "Headlights!" And then he said the joke and it bombed. It was <laughs> bombed so hard. I yeah, love that. It joke. went terrible. I, yeah, I, I think it got too repetitive or something. Well, no, actually, I remember when you did that. I was like, I don't know why, but I was like, I'm gonna try to like be really angry about it. And obviously, like. I, I don't come off as the angriest guy. So when I tried to do it, it was just kind of like, oh, I guess he's a little irritated right now. Like, I don't know. It just didn't, it, I didn't sell it for sure. You also uh, changed the tag from nuclear fish and you said binary fish. Oh, I did. It <laughs> was like wow, single cell memory. Yeah. organisms reproducing themselves. That has nothing to do with Ed Lights. I remember We have a very intellectual crowd. <laughs> Yeah, that's too smart for my own good, man. I don't know. No, I remember hearing it back and going like, "Binary fission." What the fuck am I talking about? No, yeah, I fucked that one up. But yeah, I saw, I used to do a show and or it was an open mic in Athens where you would do it was you know everybody does their five minutes and then at the end you would go up and do a minute and the crowd would just you know, like a minute to two minutes a crowd and work? Uh, of of crowd work, but you would the crowd would just shout out topics. It's okay. like stand up on the spot. Yeah, kind of? yeah, stand up on the spot. But you know, only one to two minutes. You'll only go through like two or three things. And I always really liked it. I always felt like I would do good at it. But like I've tried that. that. That's not the only time I've tried that here. It has gone terrible every single time. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened, but I just I just bomb as soon as I do that. 
but yeah, also maybe it's like knowing now that crowd work is like a thing. Like then I uh, that wasn't even like mm-hmm. really in my con. Yeah, exactly. So Fuck you, Matt Rife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, not everybody can be hot, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, that's some shit. Brandon, how you been? Man, Brandon's been doing good. Man, I've been just hanging out, trying to live and trying to not be broke. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm I'm trying, man. man. That's, that's, that's a good life, thing. dude. Mm-hmm. You were the star of the last episode. I know, yeah. Man, I appreciate it. May, it. And it, and it it's arguably Rick our best stick. episode, and you were the star, mm-hmm. man. That's my alter ego, Rick, man. So whenever you see me with that wig, just know it's not me. It's Rick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love how you go so distraught over saying nigga. I know. <laughs> said, I can't say that. <laughs> Dedicated to the character. <laughs> I was too much in the character, man. Like, I was so deep. I was like, man, then that nigga, I was like, ooh, Brandon, no. You can't. I got black friends. And I was like, what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> nah, I'm good. Kind of like another uh, white guy <laughs> dropping the end bar. Oh, yes, dude. Out of mic. That's, that has to be the craziest open mic I've been to thus far. It was the craziest By two far. minute span of oh any my god open mic. Ever. It was great. I don't want to I don't want to ruin it because it's who you have on later. But he said something about it. He was he was like uh, somebody saying the n word in the crowd was like Haley's comment. Like I heard it. <laughs> like I knew it was gonna happen at some point. And like and then he finally saw it that night. No, that was that was great. Uh, yeah, I was so nervous to go up that night. But luckily, sometimes because like a lot of what like you know, the more we do it, the more we learn. And like mm-hmm. the room matters so so much, and like that, I swear I would have bombed except for all that happened. I was like, good, now I got some shit. Like I was like, now I have something to talk about. But <laughs> finally, we, somebody did. Th- it. Tell, them, tell them what happened. Um, well, a guy who has done stand up like a couple times, I think two maybe, three. only ever does it that at was his that third open time. mic. Mm-hmm. He went up there, or he wasn't even on the stage. No, no. Our guest for today, Sci-Fi. Sci-Fi. Mm-hmm. Sci-Fi got jokes, Hell to yeah. give him his full name. He was on the stage performing. It was towards the end of his set. He is a black man. He said a joke that involved the N-word. Oh, I'll, I'll say that part. He said, uh, <laughs> look at this nigga in the cowboy hat. Right? Yeah. <laughs> what Dom said. So, he said. so he said, look at this nigga in the cowboy hat. And what did the... Uh, John... This other white guy, you can't say that part either. This other white guy in the crowd was like, it was his friend. He said, oh, yeah, look at this nigga in the cowboy hat. <laughs> and everybody just was like... What the fuck? <laughs> no, I saw I saw it, and then I start looking around because I need to gauge how to react based off other people's right, yeah. reactions. Because I can't be the first to react. Well, you, <laughs> you know what's crazy is I was in the bathroom when that happened. I didn't hear it happen at all. I walked out, and the whole room was different. I was just like, so I knew something had happened. So I like walked. I don't know who I asked. It might have been you, Dar, but I was like, "What just happened?" And you were like, "Oh, this dude just said that." And we're like, we were right next to each other because because yeah. what happened next. <laughs> What's, oh yes oh my god dude another newer comic <laughs> another, i think it's the second, second time i think it's time. the second time i saw him goes first time i was like that was a pretty good first time mm-hmm. shout out charles yeah charles yeah. hood was his name i was like damn that's pretty that's <laughs> charlie swisher charles hood oh, he we're doesn't. occupying the same territory <laughs> we need to get this guy out of here <laughs> no. he doesn't look like a charles hood either. <laughs> no, skinny skinny white guy with big glasses yeah and long, like uh you almost he's just, just described charlie <laughs> yeah you did you actually all except glasses you completely described me uh he's got he's definitely got a beatles look going uh <laughs> yeah paul but, mccartney mm, uh, <laughs> but he goes no good john guy, lennon good guy. oh john lennon, john lennon. Oh, yeah de- sure. yeah definitely more lennon yeah. uh <laughs> but he goes up to the stage again it's the second time going up alex has kind of addressed the the who's the host has kind of addressed he got a little mad he got a little mad he, he, he was got heated mad. yeah and that's not the, and that's not the end of that either we'll come back to that i guess okay. but yeah. but this guy <laughs> this new guy goes up first step catches the edge of the stage falls flat on his face i mean the most perfect fall i thought <laughs> yeah. he was doing it on purpose it was such it was such yeah, a it i didn't looked know like if a it was part fall. of the bit no it, it was i mean i've never seen it was such a movie fall <laughs> that I was like, but he fell like what maybe four feet like it wasn't that far at all he just fell from standing up to the ground yeah. but it looked like he hit terminal velocity yeah. and just like plummeted and fucking like felix Baumgartner from the stratosphere <laughs> yeah. slammed into the stage Damn. He didn't. He didn't put his hands out. No, he, didn't. <laughs> he went face first. For he did not to defend ground. himself. Yeah. Dude, he, <laughs> he ate just, the fucking he floor. He just absorbed with face and body. Yeah, it was. It was. Bad. And then and then didn't mention it at all. Immediately just got on the mic and started talking about bees. <laughs> oh, wow. Y'all like honeybees? <laughs> yeah. Didn't. Oh my it gosh, all. I remember him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when I almost guy. failed too, I gave him that curse. Yeah, <laughs> you, you do that. Yep, I've been yep. giving people. It's curse. a real effect. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, he is new, because like, now I know if, if, some, if something like that happens, you have to address he it. He beasted it. If, mm-hmm. 
What he, do you mean? He, beast did it. he stayed in the pocket. He in, stayed in the pocket. Yeah. But I feel like you have to mention if something like that happened. You have to be <laughs> you like, have to, <laughs> you, also, you have to let us know what just happened. Yeah. I grabbed Charlie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I was, I, was, I couldn't I was stop over. laughing. Like, I was crying. <laughs> like, what the f- There's no way this just happened. No, Sci Fi was standing them. next to me, and I looked at him. I was like, dude, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> He's like, I don't know. <laughs> there was just a tornado of energy. And in the Alex bar. was still on the stage, and Alex was standing there just looking down at him. He straight up, like, publicly shamed him. Pointed out at him and it was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy, dude. I feel like Alex can hit that like bully sidekick mm-hmm. laugh too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know that laugh is iconic. Once it yeah. speeds up, you in for it. Yeah, <laughs> have a good one. <laughs> oh, that was a great fucking <sighs> night, dude. Yeah, that was wild. And then so, that guy though, uh, and like I don't know if he's gonna come back or not. He said his his parting words to me and Jalen were that he's not coming back. But we'll Good. see what happens. Well, because you guys were over there talking to him for a while. So it was for like a long time. It was mm. me, Jalen, and Alex standing there, and he comes up, and I forget what he says at first, but Alex just gets straight to it. He's like, "Hey, man, if you're gonna do that and bring that energy in here, like I don't want it. You don't do it." And like Alex, I mean, he's y'all saw it. he was like heated, heated, like yeah, this guy. And and the dude starts going into the whole like we can't even have a conversation about but and alex just gets up and leaves Damn. yeah good but now for him. but now he's left yeah exactly good for i was like yeah that that i mean i already liked that but you know that made me respect him in a different way other than just like this comedy shit you know mm-hmm. yeah. uh but now he's just with me and jalen who like i mean people think i'm laid back but like jalen the, I mean, laid. Laid the most, most laid, back. laid back. Zen, so now this guy time. is going off like kind of raging at two dudes that just do not care <laughs> we're yeah. just like I'm just being like, hey man, just don't stress it, dude. Like, just, uh, I don't know why I thought the angle that would make sense to him. I was like, look, it's Alex's show. If he says you can't do that, you can't do that. But he was on some moral thing about like, you know, one he was repeating sci-fi. I don't even. It doesn't even fucking matter his mm. reasons. But it was just <laughs> like I was like, <laughs> they let him go up after that. No, too. no, yeah, he yeah, still they let him go up. Yeah. First two minutes of his set, defending his actions. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he stood he, on. He business. never. He never. Yeah, he did stand up business because he never said, "Oh my bad." No, he like, no, he never once a- like, apologized look, I was over there. Repeating, yeah. Yeah. Like, you guys don't say it. <laughs> yeah. huh? He started pointing out why guys. Yeah. You, I know you said it. <laughs> I think he thought I was going to be his strongest ally. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, dude, we don't support that shit. I told that to him to his face. He wouldn't even talk to me the rest of the night. Really? Wow. Damn. I, w- I felt like I was the only one that was pissed about it. And I was like, am I that liberal white right now that's like, what the fuck? And nobody else gives a shit? I, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was fucking hilarious. Oh, I laughed. Oh, yeah. And, and I, couldn't, I couldn't even get over it. After even though the, uh, him saying it, like him saying that was crazy, but the fall to me was just oh, so. It was a cherry on top. It, it yeah. was it it was you couldn't script it better than that. If you <laughs> yeah. did, you'd be like, okay, you guys are going over the top. Like no, this yeah, dude face planted, arms behind his back, boom. <laughs> <laughs> dude, the fact that none of that was on video is a crime. And we and Jack, Wait, Jack didn't get that crime. on video. He got my set on video. I was so happy he got my set. Too, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't record because I told him to record. I told him to record the uh, uh, the guy, and then like literally he recorded oh, good before call. Good call. before. And then after, but we Aww. didn't get that part. Dude. Dang, man, that sucks. That was Damn. a gym, man. No, if we can't had, write I don't that care. shit. <laughs> and I told him, I was like, I was like, here, I'll fo- follow me on Instagram. We're going to talk about you this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want you to know that he's cool though. Uh, yeah, cool yeah, guy. yeah. Cool he's guy. yeah. Always had a little bit of funny energy, but whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, awkward, but it was awkward, funny that awkward. when when me and when he was talking to me and Jalen, like at this point, we kind of were his only allies because we're letting him vent to us about this, and mm-hmm. we're both just being like, chill out about it, dude. And, and he and, and then like within that conversation he turns on us and he's like neither of you guys have said anything productive you're just too stupid to understand oh, this hell no. <laughs> no, hell sorry god he said no. that dude if he comes back tonight oh, hell why no. uh, i don't know why he I would i know he said that no yeah yeah That's he did bullshit. it was broken i'm putting two separate things uh-huh. together but i mean it was in all in the same conversation and he's like y'all haven't said anything and i was like no, i mean neither of you dude i mean you're the one that yeah. just said the n-word like you know like i don't know mm-hmm. what's so productive that you're doing but i don't know me and jim just looked at each other like all right whatever dude. Yeah. and that's when he finally did oh, well actually his i don't know if it's his girlfriend or just a lady with him but she eventually came and was like hey we have to go do that. like she saw that we were like you know, uh, oh, those those are the two girls them. we went to. Me and Jake went to Moody Mondays. Oh, South really? Fly. Yeah, yeah. Because we, <laughs> oh, we we hung out with them like the week before. Oh, so then okay. after all this. Oh, happened, that's right. Because they were talking about Moody's. Now yeah. I remember that. And then yeah. they came. He came up. He was like, "Hey, you want to go to Moody's?" I'm like, "No, man. <laughs> 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 like, don't come and <laughs> no, ask dude. me to go nah, to Moody's." Because this was after you guys had talked for like, wasn't that like an hour? It was a. It was a. It 40, couldn't 30. have been that long. It, it, I feel like like twenty minutes, oh, but it felt amount of time. It felt long though. Because I kept on looking over there. I'm like, wonder what they're talking about. 
I did kind of feel bad too because I guess one of his friends went up for the first time yeah. uh, and I just made fun of his set immediately because yeah. he was talking about how he makes women come on a dirt bike <laughs> <laughs> and like I don't know what it is about like I'm not you know uh, I do like self-deprecating shit so if you're going to do the opposite of that I'm going to make fun of you. <laughs> like, that yeah. just is what it is. And also, this it. dude's vibe was crazy. Yeah, like, yeah. The cowboy, the cowboy hat. Cowboy right? hat yeah. Decided to sit down. Sit down on the, <laughs> on the stage, not even on yeah. the stage. Not even, yeah, yeah. And it's your first time going up. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I make bitches come on my dirt bike, too. <laughs> <laughs> what you Yo, about to say, Brandon? Charlie, were yeah. you there <clears throat> when that dude said the N-word at Fusion also? Uh, at Fusion? No, no, no. The old dude, right? No, no, it was another dude oh, was that was another, young. I've too. heard about this. One. I, know, I was not at Fusion. That about, I was yeah. not at Fusion that way. What happened? I well, know. so he went up to me and uh, Dante. We were we were real cool. From everybody was talking, and then out of nowhere, he said, "Yeah, man, you can't go down to Arad." Because I was talking about Comer, so I was like, mm-hmm. "I can't go down to Comer." He's like, "Yeah, they got signs saying stuff like stay away, nigger." And then as soon as he said that, me and da- uh, Dante were like, "What the fuck?" And then Nico in the back, cause you know he don't play that shit. He's mm-hmm. like, "Hey, hey." We don't do that shit. Mm-hmm. And he was like doing the same thing the other dude was doing. What? I thought I, I was just reading the sign. Like, no, man, no, there's better ways. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, you ain't that guy to be saying this is an open mic. You're not that guy. Exactly. Yet. You be- yeah. I mean, you better be like on some top tier level. Exactly. Shit. Yeah. And still, mm-hmm. and still, even, you know, even then, it's a fine line. Yeah. Well, I, apparently, I guess this just happens all the time, actually, because there was also were any of y'all there at Shenanigans with the Asian girl with Tourette's? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and she also dropped it. Eventually, it took a long time for her to get there. Uh, but she also dropped it, and you know, I guess it just happens. Apparently, <laughs> Jake, I guess she's she, she's occupying a funny territory. Yeah, she, being, she has an excuse. A, she's Asian, yeah, and, and she has Tourette's. But Asians don't like niggas. You know that, right? Really? Oh, Y'all yeah. Know that? Oh, Asians yeah, don't yeah. fuck with black. I people. did. I did write a joke. Well, not about all this Asians. One time. <laughs> Chinese, Chinese, Chinese uh, don't. I said I to save black Asian relations, fireworks is the connected thing, <laughs> and Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> dude, yeah. But yeah, somebody anime. that wasn't cool that she said that, dude. Jake, yeah. get your fucking girlfriend. <laughs> Oh, Jake's love. Come on, love man. You said you fought her one time. Uh, that's hilarious. She, whenever I was up there, I said something like, "My, my mom's a short German lady." That joke, and then he, mm-hmm. he uh, she says, "Hell, Hitler." Yeah. And I was like, I was like, "Well, the salute does start from the chest." Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Which <laughs> one's worse, saying the N word or saying "Hell, Hitler. Hitler"? Oh, she's she's what she say something about the Chinese government. Or go back. To she China. kept saying "Go back to China," which was so fucking funny because she was <laughs> she Chinese. Was the only, <laughs> she's the only the Chinese only, person. In I've the room. never seen an she's Asian going, person. Go I'm going to say that now. Yeah. I don't think <laughs> yeah. I've ever seen that. Yeah. Besides no. Alex. Same. Oh, yeah. But it, yeah. Well, only half of them. Yeah. <laughs> No, she dropped the the f bomb during my. I don't know what I can and can't say. Otherwise, I would have been saying the n word this whole time. But, no, okay. Uh, no, she called me that in the middle of my set, and, I was, and she she hadn't had. I guess it's called like a tick. She hadn't had one yet. The show, and I just had to like. I just I immediately heard it and looked at the lady in the crowd, and she wasn't looking at me. And I was like, who would just shout that? Like not at even looking at me. Yeah, at shenanigans where you're not even allowed to say some. You can't other even stuff. say R. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And just said, oh, I, I just, I, mean. I, I don't know what, I've never even known somebody with Tourette's, but I, for the first time I was like, that's Tourette's. Did you <laughs> address like, it? Yeah, no, I, well, yeah, ca- yeah I was like, uh, I was telling some bit about how I ran for treasurer in high school four times and lost every time. And then and she, when I said I ran for treasurer, she called me that. And then I was, and I was like, uh, I, I just know I somehow brought around to like I wasn't that it was the guy I was running against. Yeah. Was like, it was yeah. hilarious. Yeah. It's all it's not the treasurer, dude. It's the secretary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. The person that just wants to bookkeep. I mean, she was right. I mean, uh, if you're trying if you're trying to be the financial advisor of your high school class, <laughs> you you're, I mean, you're definitely a gay accountant. Like that's what that is. You just want to look at pieces of paper with dudes on them yeah. in yeah. wigs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's definitely the kid that like dresses like way too nice in high school. You know, like wears like a blazer to school. Yeah. Stop tucking your fucking shirt in. Yeah, dude. yeah. It's eight thirty in the morning. Yeah. I thought that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I <used> Treasurer. To- <laughs> yeah, of course. I was like, should work. I start tucking in my shit? <laughs> no. Did you guys ever have a dude in your school that was like, we had one. He wanted to be a police officer, but. You know, he he was never going to get in. He was real skinny. <laughs> we called him boots because he would wear these boots that are like this. The mm-hmm. soles were like this fucking big. Those are scary and, motherfuckers. And he would always be like, he would, like if you were out somewhere, he'd be like, hey, hey, hey. I'm like, you are not a fucking police guy. <laughs> but he had a crown crown Vic. He had he had everything. Like he, Wait, he uh, buy them like he a had, police had, auction. Bro, he these are the scariest school. dudes, to be honest. <laughs> like, bro, he would come to school with a flat, like a big ass flashlight, have a belt buckle and all that shit. That's crazy. And they try to like to. 
But, and he was just a weird ass dude. But and you he know he's to, like, armed. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know he would try to armed. stop people. You just put push him. He would be the one to shoot. <laughs> we, we had a guy that was like, we had a guy. He was in uh, JROTC, mm-hmm. and he was like super hardcore. Uh-huh. He would sprint every time when the bell would <laughs> ring for lunch. He would sprint, <laughs> and like we had double doors going into the lunchroom. Yeah. Fucking kick him open, dude. <laughs> he was intense as fuck. Yeah, and you just the worst. <laughs> the, the worst. <laughs> now, those are the ones that do cause problems. Like, uh, you know, the ones that want to be cops in military that bad. Also, I'm pretty sure they never make it. No. I don't think they ever it's make it. To that. I just, they I just don't went pass back home the psych evaluation. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, they know, too. Those, those, you know, the cops in the military, they're like, this guy's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, we cannot have him shoot, you know, with this well, much access to weaponry. I don't know. When I joined the military, they let that motherfucker in. Oh, really? Yeah, it, was, <laughs> it was when the war was hot. You know what oh, I'm saying? Right. Like, hey, you got to get anybody in. Put him on the front line. Put the Brandon in the front. <laughs> He's <laughs> a martyr. <laughs> Just send him out there. I'm not going to lie. My best friend was like, one of my best friends was exactly like that. Oh, Except he friend, wouldn't do the shit because he was, like, scary a little bit. So he'd mm-hmm. be like, which, thank God he's not a cop. Because look, if you watch him, man, I'm sorry, bro. You would have probably killed some people with your crazy ass. <laughs> like he was fucking wild, man. He had a temper and shit. Mm-hmm. And um, sometimes he would accidentally slip an word in there. So <laughs> when you hear like, white dude, yeah, he was white. Okay, yeah, yeah, he yeah. was white. You're talking about the one you Facetime? No, no, uh, not that guy. That we all thought not was black. Guy. He was Facetiming him. The white Were man. you out there? I think you already headed out. Oh, okay, you already yeah. headed out. That yeah. was on Wednesday at Fast. He was, he was like, okay. "Hell yeah, Playboy, we was down there. They was down there fucking that bitch." And I was like, <laughs> "Clearly, he's black." <laughs> yeah. He looked, turned around, the no. whitest guy you ever uh, seen. Brandon <laughs> said, "That's the white version of yeah, me." That's the yeah, white and me. I was the first to speak up, dude, because you know I'm privy to this shit. I was <laughs> right. like, "That's a black man, right?" <laughs> yeah. Hell no. He was right? like, "No, he's white." And then he Facetimed him. He answered, and he was like, <laughs> he answered, and I was like "What the fuck?" Yeah, that was so funny. I told him when I got home, he was like, "Thank you, Brandon. You got me. <laughs> you got me on the." Scene because he, he talked about doing some comedy sometimes. Tell him to come out. I tried to. Yeah. He's, man, he's in a situation. T- let him do a set on FaceTime, dude. Man, I will. Pro- <laughs> Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Brandy you watching, man? That. We might do that one day. I'm going to do a set, set and then put you on that. You know what? I'm going to FaceTime you into the boxcar tonight, mm-hmm. man. Dude, do it. While I'm at the radio, hell yeah. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll do it. Smooth. We going to link, dude. We might link. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they be like, what you, man? Play some Mo Lewis for I Play some of that Mo Lewis. <laughs> Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't let them call you nigga. <laughs> Nigra. Nigra. Well, I, I gotta no, I down do with not. That word. People don't like it when I say that. They get offended. What? When you say what? When I say the N word. They're like, man, Brandon, I know you're black, but that's offensive. Man, like, you don't get I the know. fuck out of here. I, know, I, I, I wish yeah. a motherfucker would come on because I'd be, wait, be waiting. Damn, because you know I'm light skinned. Come on, <laughs> yeah, I can say shit, it. bitch. He's no, no, to get it was like my family, yeah, man, because it's like old out. heads. Yeah, yeah man, the old yeah, heads. I'd be like, like shit, you are old, man. Oh well, oh well, old ladies yeah. is different. You, no, it I, I've never lady. said it in front of my grandma or my aunt. Is that a thing? Oh, I don't say that in front of. I don't. I don't. I, I don't cuss at all. Oh, like, I, I don't either. Yeah, yeah. Same. I lost that. I. I cannot. I can't not keep not my in front of my grandparents. I, I, oh, I no. keep getting in trouble at work because I just won't be paying attention to who's around. And I got in trouble one day. Uh, I guess I'm just launching into a story here, but uh, our our like boss's boss took us out to eat, and it was at a Mexican restaurant. And when they came with the check, it was like on an electronic thing. Uh, and you know how they do that now. At some mm-hmm. place they come to the table yeah. and it's like on mm-hmm. a pad, and it said. Uh, after he paid, it wanted you to rate the waiter, like, good or bad. Like, it was just two options. And this guy, like, the boss's boss, went to hit bad. Like, he said he was, like, joking around. But he went to hit bad. So, in my mind, that's the fucked up thing. But fun. but anyway, but he doesn't do it. And then we walk out, and they're like, what? I've never even seen that. What happens if you do that? Like, what happens if you hit bad? And I was like, oh, I think it calls ice. <laughs> on the fucking way. And like, cause oh you know, my I'm just God. on the same shit that I'm on around <laughs> you guys. And like, and, and for my coworkers That's are fucking funny. laughing, but the boss, the boss's boss doesn't hear it. And he's like, what do you say? And they're all like, nothing, nothing, dude. And then, and then one of them fucking told him later. So I got in trouble. What but, a snitch, dude. <laughs> yeah. But That's also again, so you know, I, working in the fucking sewer. Like, I feel like I get to say what the fuck I want to exactly. say. You know? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> I just thought the idea was like, I mean, what, what, well, why are they even asking thumbs up or thumbs down on that the waiter? Is, and I'm yeah. like, <laughs> you hit yeah. thumbs down, they just fucking boop, boop, boop. You know, yeah. get Homeland Security to come around. But, <laughs> 
But in my mind, he was the fucked up one for trying to thumbs down the waiter anyways. That yeah, is. he was no, the one yeah. who tried to call him, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's not your fault. Yeah, what's with me? You just called him out call on him. It. I'm just letting him know how Wait, it works. So was it like the customer's rating them or the waiter? Yeah, the customer the rates cus- the waiter shit. just like thumbs up, thumbs down. And I was yeah. like, that's f- if I was a server, I'd hate that shit. That yeah, could be crazy right. sometimes. Like, what we yeah. get hostile? One dude standing like, yeah, go ahead and click you don't like my ass. See what happens. Something like that. Like, intense. Right, yeah, yeah. Shit. You get crazy motherfuckers. So you <laughs> know. Brett, what'd you say that? I said, what was somebody like, yeah, go ahead and put you don't like my ass on there. See what the fuck happens. Oh, Something said, like that. You know, yeah. people be crazy. Oh, yeah. I mean, then you just stand up and whoop their ass or throw the chair at them. I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> Shit. But what yeah. if that's how it works? That, that is the white's biggest weakness we've now discovered is the chair. <laughs> yeah, just use the chair, oh, man. Yeah. You good. Montgomery. <laughs> well, the, what, what else happened on Friday? Oh, man. Um, mm. I ate shit <laughs> on a show. Mm. And, and you know, that was my second time ever hosting. And uh-huh. I didn't really consider this before. But when you bomb the first ever <laughs> set of the night, you have to keep going back up there. Right, yeah. <laughs> and they already don't like you. Right? Damn. So I kind of lost them when about 40 seconds into my three and a <laughs> oh half minute God. set, yeah. I talked about domestic violence. Yeah. And there's been two jokes I've said on stage where I've heard groans, both of them domestic violence. Really? Yeah. <laughs> violence. And it's always women going like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'll never forget the first was. time was at Shenanigans. It was, oh, no. And then the <laughs> second time at, at uh, Homegrown, it was, oh, God. <laughs> and yeah. I mean, to be fair, you were saying you don't do that. Like, yeah, if yeah. I remember the bit right, you're going, like, I don't beat my wife. Yeah. But, but I I don't know. People just hear beat your wife, and I, <laughs> I guess get lost. In Not the, a great association yeah. with yeah. that kind of activity. But it's okay, because after I got off, Dom killed it. So Yeah, yeah. Killed yeah. my ass. I bombed. I didn't even do – and, like, like he's saying, three and a half minutes, You because you pause, you, you take into account laughter. <laughs> right. <laughs> And didn't have any. Yeah. That's a good <laughs> so, point. It so like, the whole thing without I, I, the last. I, I, when I looked around, I, I knew in my I knew in my heart, I was like, there's no way this is five minutes. But I had practiced it. I did it five times beforehand. These are my jokes. Let's go back a few spaces. Right. Earlier that day, I texted oh, Dom. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. and I was like, hey, man, like, uh, you going to be there tonight or whatever? And he was like, yeah, is it an open mic or a show? And I was a little confused. I was like, mm-hmm. it's a show. And Dom's like, good. I don't have any material at all. <laughs> and I'm like, you only have to do five minutes. Right. And he's like, am I on the show? <laughs> I no and dude. we tagged oh, him. I didn't even get every... I'm just going to watch it. <laughs> he was oh tagged God. in every they piece of on... promotional material. <laughs> they kept on tagging me. And I was like, oh, they must really want me just to help promote the show. <laughs> Dom <laughs> has like, like, I was just reposting it. <laughs> Dom has like <laughs> double digit followers. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I don't have any. <laughs> And he's, he's and he's like, man, they must really want me to come support this show. Yeah, that's no. what I was thinking. I was like, Our yeah, big of course draw, I'm going to be there. Dom, brand new to Instagram. <laughs> right? <laughs> Doesn't know how to operate it <laughs> at all. So we started off there. And then when Dom gets to the venue, he comes out to me. He's like, yeah, man, I think I'm going to go a little over. I think it's going to be about six minutes. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was now. scared about it. I'm like, I don't want to go over. I was right? like, oh, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. It's totally fine if you run <laughs> over. It it's it's not an open mic. Three and a half minutes. <laughs> Three and a half minutes on a pay gig, and I'm only doing fucking five. Uh, man, to be fair, the whole night was like a, a hill, as far as like it was getting better the whole time. Like you got it the hardest, JJ, yeah. and then Domino, and it still was. I mean, it was still fucking shaky. Uh, for some, I was looking at my notes because I was thinking about how I'd be on this. Uh, I think you had some bit about ice cream that did yeah. good. I don't even remember what it was. I just looked at my notes and it just said Dom ice cream. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, I that guess was, it was a bit. That was at the end when I was like, uh, broke people, I found this dude at Dairy. Ice cream. Oh, oh man, yeah, yeah, I yeah, love that's that what joke, it was. That was man. great. That was I great. And that. that that was finally getting people. And then, like, you know, Dan brought some energy. And then finally yeah. Jonathan. See, so, like, it was Dan all did good and Jonathan did yeah, good. They yeah, both, they both did good, especially for that room. Yeah, Because even with them, I've seen the same bits like kill way more mm-hmm. it was but peaks and valleys dude. There, it was peaks and valleys and that whole room was just i mean it was just uptight like I, I i know we shouldn't put it on the audience you know it's like yeah. it's but our when job you see the jokes kill other places exactly yeah, yeah. I, I know this shit works and so like and i mean there were people kendall was laughing that this couple next to me was loving it the whole time but i don't know there was a room right in the center i got a very like very religious vibe you know who i'm talking about mm-hmm. uh and they uh, eventually two of the girls in the group kind of started to last them, but they I felt I felt like they were kind of just like sinking everybody in because mm-hmm. they that uh, yeah they weren't enjoying it especially anybody that had material about religious stuff they particularly were like 
tightened up about. Yeah, so. I, mean, I was so confident yeah. going into it, dude. Uh, From that's Fat the thing, Sammy's, dude, too, dude. I was so confident dude, going yeah, into it. Yeah, because Fat Sammy's, you fucking killed. And that said, especially just, that, especially that bit, the HGTV nah, get yeah. killed at yeah. the They did good. not like it at all. I, was, I didn't know what was happening at all. I didn't know what was happening. Like on on because I to get your clip, I watched the Fat Sammy one, and whenever you say HGTV, I mean. The whole place goes crazy. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. I was gonna put it, but we already did HGTV. But the thing before. is, at the fucking show, when I said HGTV, they started cheering, and I was like, "Okay, now Yo, things are looking up." <laughs> yeah. I say the first tag, and it's like, <laughs> "Oh, you still don't like me." Hmm. Right. So, I, sometimes I get into a thing with something bombs where I just repeat it again. <laughs> for I don't know why I do that. For you, it'd be like you're like Autumn Brass, and they don't, and you're like. Autumn Brass. <laughs> <laughs> and they're still just like, we didn't like it the first time. <laughs> honest, dude, nobody likes the Autumn Brass except for me. But I keep it in there for myself. Uh, was it like an older audience or something No, like that? that's or the it, thing. We I don't know what people it was. In. I mean, there was the old, in the middle, like, there was the old people. But <laughs> yeah. around the around the edges were, were young people. I had brought like, those four girls in, and they were young. They were laughing a mm-hmm. little bit, though, on the, by the bar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they, but, they were. I felt like they were enjoying it. But I know I know when my shit's not going to go mm. every time. If I call Lizzo a fat, I'm like, if Lizzo can't call somebody a fat bitch, then who can? And I went like this, and I was like, you tell me. And everybody was just like, <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> that's that's too much. <laughs> that's too much. You it's know, fucking Lizzo. Yeah, no, it's bad yeah. when you tell a joke and the person you're looking at goes like, "Yeah, oh my god." <laughs> they were not happy. That's why I never make any fucking eye contact. I know it's like advice to like actually look at people, <laughs> yeah. but I I the entire t- I'm like. I, when I'm on stage, I'm only seeing a blur because I just don't stop moving my eye. Because I'm like, I don't want to focus on somebody. Because if they're having a, if they're not enjoying it, and I see that, I'm gonna tank the rest of it. Charlie, like. your body language on stage. <laughs> you and Jake are the funniest <laughs> motherfuckers. Charlie, he picks up the mic, holds it in both hands, both hands, and he looks like a paranoid schizophrenic having yes. a conversation <laughs> with himself. He yeah. walks back and forth, and he's like this. He's like, <laughs> 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 That's and then, and then Jake will fully turn around and look <laughs> yeah. at the wall behind him. Yeah, he her. will just. <laughs> I'm, I've never seen anybody do that, that, but they'll still laugh. You know what's funny? I've never, I'd never seen myself until uh, Jack filmed that set. Mm-hmm. Boxer, I'd never once seen myself on worst. stage. So really? I was like, "This is crazy." I, I record voice recordings, you know, mm-hmm. for myself, but I've never filmed it. Okay. And I was like, "Oh my god, I look hilarious!" Also, I noticed that because yeah, I do the two hands on the mic. Sometimes when I have something to say, particularly if I'm like complaining about something, I start doing Trump hands, and I, like I, I mm-hmm. let go, and then I go, mm-hmm. "I yeah. don't know what the deal with this is," but fucking, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I love headlights. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> LED light emitting diode. <laughs> like, dude, when you move, like, dude, you're really energetic. I love that too. Like, when you move around like this, it's just. It's oh, I appreciate. It. I I do feel like I've loosened up a little bit mm-hmm. physically, and I think that's a. I mean, that, that seems like yeah. it's a good thing. I so thank you. Yeah, mm-hmm. Charlie Fisher, he's a killer. He is. Yeah, yeah, see yeah. him out, you're gonna have a good time. The Especially Armenian if you're watching samurai. This shit. Yeah, dude, <laughs> dude that's Jake so was good. killing me with that. Something about a vampire too. I was like, God damn, that's <laughs> like, hilarious. Playing Joe Cower is you? Like he's made my love for pineapples just fucking sky. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of experiments are you doing, Brandon, yeah, well, with your uncle? We're going to figure it out in a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> Got to start drinking. Hey. You want to do right. the clips? Let's yeah, see. yeah, let's get in. I forgot we had to watch these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do it fast. Clip of the week. Go. And we got Charlie. Charlie, now he's just a regular white guy. <laughs> <laughs> But he has a Jewish nose and a body of a Holocaust survivor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fucked up. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Sierra Moses. Hey, wasn't she good? Ooh. She's so good. We had her on the podcast. We had a good time. And then she said, I look like a brown baby Grinch. <laughs> what I'm going through right now. Yeah. It's fucked up. Doesn't she look like she tells black people they can't fish at a public park? (laughs) (laughs) And I kept that one in because fuck you, Sierra. You roasted me on stage. I can't write my own jokes, but my boy can. (laughs) Nah, dude, but I had to put that in there. Because honestly, that might have been my favorite roast that you wrote. And also because Charlie, I knew he was going to be on the episode. That yeah. was that was that when I when I was writing the roast, mm-hmm. I think I started off with sci-fi, and he wasn't even in there, so I didn't get the roast. Right. Yeah. And then uh, and then I just kept on hitting people, and then when I got to you, I was like, 
Jewish nose for sure. Hey, but then I, I mean, can't. How could you not? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and then, then after that, I was like, ah, Holocaust survivor body does sound good. I it's like there. it. it that, was my fa- that was my favorite. <laughs> no, it was good. It was good. I wanted to see you go harder, but <laughs> if that's all you got, I guess that's all you got. So. <laughs> you can roll some part. Charlie's and, about to roast the shit out of me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I can top Baby Grinch. That's <laughs> yeah. brown Baby Grinch. That's great. so good. <laughs> it's really good. I was mad. Uh, I was mad. It was so good. I'm like, damn. And we'll say it's okay because I was Jewish for one year of my life. So because oh. my mom dated a jewish guy so i had to go to synagogue oh, okay. uh, so so it's all cool everybody <laughs> he can say that he's got a star of david yeah. tattoo <laughs> hell yeah uh, let's see jj's all right. i went on a date with a girl from tinder the other day and it actually went surprisingly well we went and grabbed dinner it was good food good conversation we get back in my car i'm gonna drive her home i'm a good guy and everything and she turns and she looks at me and she says, I need you to help me get all these problems off my mind for a while. She wants to have sex, dude. <laughs> and the first thing that pops into my mind is, I don't know if I have a problem-solving penis. A conundrum call me cock, if you will. I can't get all your problems off your mind for a while. I can get a few of them off your mind for a bit. <laughs> and I'm not talking about... That's it. Bro, that's that's a great bit. Great as well. bit. I, I really like that, that bit. Was good. And it gets poetic there with the uh, the alliteration, the problem solving penis, yeah. and the, yeah. <laughs> contemplating co- whatever it is. It's <laughs> the conundrum good. calming. <laughs> my bad. My bad. There it is. The I'm CCC. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that. Joke. No, that really is a great bit. That is a uh, one of those two like, uh, well, you know, like sometimes you hear of it and you're like. Oh, that was sitting there for the taking, you mm-hmm. know. And I feel like a lot of the best ones are that. You're like, oh shit, like I didn't even think about that because you know, I most of us have probably been kind of in that situation mm-hmm. with a girl where she's like, oh, maybe you can take my mind off of it, and you're like, probably not. <laughs> At least thirty seconds. Yeah. I mean, it's relatable though, very relatable because you know, people, <laughs> oh yeah, people need to get that stress off. Well, you that's know what I mean. Exactly, mm-hmm. yeah. That's exactly what Jonathan was telling me after the show. He was telling it to both of us. Mm-hmm. He was like. You got to open up with self-deprecation, mm. which I did a little bit, but it was super dark. Yeah. So it tanked. Well, that's, I, that whole bit is self-deprecation not about like the one that you said, the domestic abuse that, but it, I guess it's still just a little too hardcore. Too, like if you open yeah. with that one, uh, with that, that clip yeah. right there, then people I think will get on your side way more. The reason I opened with that one though, is cause I said it for the first time ever at the speakeasy open mic and mm. they fucking loved it. Right, so you were like, it's gonna hit again. Yeah. I mean, why wouldn't nope. it? <laughs> they turned on me, dude. They, they turned, turned on they me. They turned, bro. They did. It's because all the holiday crowd was out, dude. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. yeah. could be what it was. Yeah, I, I guess I don't know. I'm just blaming it on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fucking trip. Christmas, man. Yeah. Goddamn Santa Claus. Holiday my spirit, fucking it up, dude. <laughs> Fuck Saint Nick. <laughs> <laughs> fat bastard. Ooh, uh, I, I love old dirty fat, fat bastard. Hold on, it's just old dirty bastard. Yeah, old old dirty bastard. Bastard. which one are you talking about? Hold on, I, we don't know who he's talking about. Because he that. said fat bastard, I don't know why I thought of old dirty bastard. So you, old, dirty, I thought it was old bastard. dirty fat bastard. Which one? Old, which one are you talking about? That you love? Okay, so you Wu-Tang. like old Yeah, I love old bastard. Yeah. Old, ba- <laughs> 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 old, my bad. Old dirty bastard. He's a good man. <laughs> don't ever change. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, yeah. I don't know the rest. I can take it away. Should have seen me do karaoke. The Atlanta's coming out. Ooh, I love Atlanta. Yes, sir. That's a good ass fucking movie, man. I mean, oh, not oh, movie, the, my show, bad the show, the show, the show. Yeah, he was just Oh no, dude. Yeah, he's the show. show. I mean, that's about the geographic location. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, the, the, Donald Glover is like who I would want to be. Like I thought for years, because like I'm newer to comedy, but like I was doing music all before that. I was always like, I'll get famous for music, then I'll do comedy. I'll just be Donald Glover in reverse. Like everybody's gonna <laughs> fucking love me. Uh, and now I'm doing comedy, and this is the shit. I should have been doing this the whole fucking time. Hey, yeah, Charlie Swisher. He hit a hey, at Moody Switcher Mondays sweet. karaoke bar. Hit that boys in the hood are always hard. <laughs> oh, I Come love talking that, that shit, trash. We'll, we'll pull your car. Hey! <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah. Hey, thanks for coming on, man. Thank you. Hell oh, yeah, dude. Thank yeah, you for I love being it. Here. Yeah. Again, thanks y'all for doing this shit. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for putting Huntsville on. I fuck well, with it. And we're gonna have you on your own episode. We just had to get you in here. Oh, we had to yeah, get you in yeah, here early because yeah, we were like yeah. booked up for. For a little minute, so we had to get you because you're too fucking funny. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Too, right? Y'all are hilarious too. Y'all are hilarious too. Thank you. Peace. 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 Have you ever had someone take their how you doing way too seriously? They made eye contact with you and told you their whole life story? Meet Theodore Gaines, the trauma dump Uber.
How you doing tonight, my man? Doing good, man. How about you? Uh, I've had better nights. I've had better nights. I'm oh, sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry to hear it too, man. It's, you know, sometimes you just think somebody loves you. And then next thing you know, you find out your kid is your brother's. What the fuck? What, what, what you up to tonight? Where you, go, where you going, man? Where you uh, going? Man, I'm going to Red Lobster. I'm on a date today, man. Oh, you going on a date? Mm -hmm. Man, man, man. Enjoy that, boy. Oh, Enjoy yeah. Enjoy that. I ain't been on a date in years, man. Uh, I, uh, after my wife cheated on me, I tried to get back out there, but, you know, with the whole genital warts and oh, okay. everything else like that, you just, uh, it's, it's, it's slim pickings, you know. Mm. Some people, uh, some people just ain't as open-minded as you think. You excited for this date? Oh, hell yeah, man. I've been, I've been looking forward to this all week. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Man. I've been looking forward to getting off this weekend and uh, going fishing with my son, but you know now he's my nephew, so no, I guess you know I'm his uncle, daddy. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I should have known, bro. You know, one time my woman made me go into a sex store and look at dildos and compare them to my penis to see how inadequate I was. Oh fuck! That's not. You shouldn't let that happen. That's but nope. Right. My girl used to make me shoot sex tapes with her. Wearing a mask of her ex boyfriend's face on. That's, that's not good. That's not right. Let me tell you something. <laughs> if your girl ever cheats on you with a thirty man Royal Rumble gangbang, oh, don't fuck. take her back, bro. You she don't take her back. You shouldn't have took her to begin with, man. I got gout. Oh, I got gout. Shit. I'm sorry. Uh, I I found a bump on the back of my neck. Oh. The size of a golf ball. I'm a little worried. I'm thinking about going to get it checked yeah. out, but I just can't afford it right now. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I'm out of here, bro. Right, yeah, cool. Goodbye, man. See you. All right, brother. I'll give you a good star. I, guess. I appreciate I know, it, bro. man. You know, I lost the star because you lost the star. I lost the. I shat myself. You shat yourself. I shat myself you, oh, one time bro. taking the kid to homecoming. The homecoming. And they gave me one star. One. One star. star. Yes, Fuck. sir. You can't help that shit. Bro. I can't. Hey, bless you. Hey, hey brother. Remember. It's like my father used to say. What he say? Hard times don't last always, uh -huh. but then sometimes. And I, he didn't finish it. Somebody shot him in the head in front Fuck. of me. Yeah, bro. Damn. Theodore Gaines, the trauma dump Uber. Hey, how's it going, my man? How's it going? How's it going? Uh, yeah, man. I'm just uh, I'm just trying to get up to this party. Okay. Uh, I got a little shit dig. It's a little kickback. Party man, party man, party man, party man. Yeah. Man. I once went to a party. That was accidentally, well, not accidentally, unbeknownst to me. Yeah. It was a cult. It was a, a cult meeting. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I signed away 12 years of my life. Excellent food. Excellent food, though. It was tasty, huh? Great food. Yeah. Oh. Like, so where's, um, you know, what are you doing now? Like, how, like, are you I still? Dri I, drive, uh, I drive Uber. You drive Uber. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Once I got off the compound, I really had to, you know, sort myself out. Figure out how much of the United States government was actually in zenith with the devil, but uh, once I got all that figured out, man, you know, mm, yeah, right. yeah, eyes on the road, buddy. I don't, uh, I got you. I was, yeah, man, I relax. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah. Where am I going? Yeah. Oh yeah, GPS. I recently found out my mother's not my real mother. Ah, uh, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. Neither is my father. I was kidnapped as a child, not even adopted. Kidnapped. I should have known. Kids at school always made fun of me. Teddy, Teddy, why are your parents Korean and you're not? Did I ever tell you I used to actually make music? You used to I make used music. To make music. Teddy. Yes, sir. Please. Please. Yes, sir. Yeah, Sold yeah. my soul to the devil. To learn how to play the xylophone. Just turns out not too many people wanted to hear the xylophone. Uh, every night at 3 a.m., I see a shadowy figure in the corner telling me it's time to collect my his due. You know? No, no, Teddy. I don't. I don't know, Teddy. <laughs> Uh, I think this is. I think this is your party, man. This is my party. Yeah, brother. Teddy, let me out, man. Thanks. All right, brother. <laughs> nice <to> meeting. <laughs> Praise the dark one. That shadow nigga was back. Theodore Gaines.
the trauma dump Uber. This week's featured comedian. Terrible. When I was 13, like most 13 year olds, I discovered my body. And by body, I mean penis. And by discovery, I mean beat it to a place. <laughs> So much that it was a fucking hate crime. <laughs> hey, anybody in here ever seen Rocky? <laughs> that ain't got shit on. I beat my meat into a fucking right angle. Like, <laughs> I, <laughs> you ever fuck a chicken? Just like, <laughs> like, yeah, that's that boomerang dick, baby. It's gonna come back to you. <laughs> but what, How we feel? Hmm? I feel good. <laughs> I'm out on love. <laughs> Where you at, Chet? Papa's got a brand new bat. San Paulo, Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> we going to Rio de now. Rio de now. De now. <laughs> Get up off of that thing. Uh, Want to introduce? Our guest <clears throat> today, we are joined by another fantastic comedian. Ooh. To be exact, the second most fantastic comedian he in Huntsville, which is bullshit. Not I disagree, second. but I wasn't one of the judges. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's hilarious. You know, he's a star. He illuminates Bonafide. the world. If, if he, if we were to lose this man, the the world would lose. A treasure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's a <Almost>. mystical figure. <laughs> <laughs> Joining us on the podcast today, we have Sci-Fi Got Jokes. Hey, Sci-Fi hey, Got Jokes. It is just Sci-Fi, bro. <laughs> <laughs> His full name is Sci-Fi Got Jokes. That was, <laughs> that was always my biggest fear, that people would see things. That was actually my full like, comedian name. How Just, you feeling, man? I feel great. I feel uh, great. Thank you for being on here, man. Thank y'all for having me. It's going to be a yeah. good one. Dom's it's got the whole one. bottle over there. <laughs> hey, <yeah. Ooh. laughs> We're gonna have I've been fun waiting today. for this since day one. I've been waiting for this. Hell yeah. So. You know we had that, to build you up a little bit, right? Of course. We're just to tear you down. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's how y'all do. <laughs> that's, that's, that's on brand for y'all. <laughs> You know, we I would never talk stuff to you. Yeah, you lying ass. Nah, nah, I would never do it, man. This is the guy right here. Funniest dude in Huntsville. Uh, no. I was saying. the funniest. Dude. Oh, I, yeah. I say he's the funniest. When Dom starts talking you up, he's literally about to chop you down. <laughs> this man went on stage and said, "Yo, I, mind you, I went like five on the uh, list. He went maybe tenth. <laughs> he gets up and he goes, "Everybody, give it up for Sci-Fi. He's so funny." And I was like, "Oh, that's cool. Thank Ooh. you, Th- thank you, Dom." And he goes, "No, nah, he's he's like the best, man." I was like, "Why is this nigga giving me so much credit?" And then he goes, "Yeah, man, that boy's really funny." I was like. Oh, he's about to assassinate me, isn't he? <laughs> he goes, even he's like, he funny, even though he looks like Bob Marley without a metabolism. <laughs> Damn. Five spaces in between, you were yeah. stewing that yeah, one. He was, I told you. It was cooking. It was because that dude rubbed my shoulders. The one actually he's the same dude that dropped the N bomb. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good Sunday. guy, that guy. Yeah, he yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he was right. <laughs> that, joke, that joke you had, he was like, where Dob at? But <laughs> the Muhammad, you ate shit. <laughs> that is fucked up, man. Me and Dom do kind of look like he's like Hood Muhammad. I'm like Redneck Jesus. Yeah, damn, <laughs> I, can I, see that. I can see that. No, now pray real. to us. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you could definitely own any gas station in the hood <laughs> yeah. and sell loose Newports yeah. <laughs> in the bathroom. Yeah. And you look like you can turn any rock into meth <laughs> at any way, bro. <laughs> That's, you're very. That was a very good, accurate <laughs> representation of you too. Oh shit! <laughs> All right. So, uh, how long you been doing stand up? Man, I've been doing stand up. It's coming up on three years. I started Phenom. April twenty first. I'm sorry, April twenty fifth, twenty twenty one. That was the very first Damn, day. I he's did got the exact date. Damn. See, like that's crazy because how funny, how comfortable he is, how much material he has, and everything bangs. I mean, he gets mad at himself whenever he gets laughs. Like me and JJ just got no laughs. <laughs> that's when you're mad at yourself. He he gets mad at himself. I got he groans. Does. Okay, <laughs> you got audible groans. During this. Oh, it sounded like the audience was in pain. Dude. <laughs> Sound like a fucking nursing home. But this man is a monster. 
You'll see them on shows all around town, right? You're always doing shows. Shenanigans. You host your own show there. You had me on it. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing it. Hell yeah. We had to we had to get all black and I was the minority. I was about to say no, (laughs) no, he fit the criteria. He 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 had black in him. And uh, <laughs> I don't want to say he was black. He had black hair. Because <laughs> if anybody be like, oh, what about the Middle Eastern dude? Like, I'm like, no, nah, let me pull out his papers. He, he's got some black in him. He had and, and, he, and he made me chuckle. <laughs> That's all you got to do to get on the show. Hell no, yeah. you killed it, man. I loved it. I loved it. Appreciate it, man. Hey, you killed it, too. It was good. Uh, that was a good time. We had Cole on there. Crow. I Crow love Crow, amazing. dude. I like, I like him. I like him a lot. Yeah. Shout outs to Crow. Hell Crow. yeah. And Cole Knowles. Hell yeah. Mm. So, um, Sci-Fi. What's up? I have some information over here. All right, let's go. <clears throat> you were born in March 1992. We're just going to start from the top. I was born, we're going to do this oh. chronologically. <laughs> I was born March 1992, correct. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you were pre-9-11, dude. I was pre-9-11. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> is that the stamp? <laughs> For me, it is. <laughs> You are not you post or free nine. I was hey, post. Baby. I know your post. I like to ask this question. Uh, sure. What's the craziest thing you have at a uh, you ever seen at an open mic or at a show or anywhere? You just it just stands out in your mind. Um, the first time I ever did an open mic in Tennessee, we were in Nashville, and <laughs> one dude got up there eating a piece of chicken. So you got to imagine. You're on a microphone. You don't want to do something that annoys the people who have to hear you. Yeah. He was actively eating chicken mm-hmm. as he was telling his jokes, but he didn't never he never told a joke at all. And when he got off, another lady got up there who was like clearly homeless and she like emptied some trash out on the stage. <laughs> Get the fuck and out. And started playing music with the trash. Yeah. <laughs> that was <laughs> She played music with the trash. Like she would make like almost it was it was kind of beautiful. She's like making a beat with a heroin yeah, needle. Like, no, like she would have the top of a trash can and like two rotting carrots and that would be the drum. <laughs> like, it was Damn, bro. Yeah, she would see a crack pipe and it would turn into a oh flute magically. <laughs> like, she was killing it. But yeah, Damn, I, I kinda fuck with that thing. That's awesome. That's good. I good. love resourcefulness, dude. It was <laughs> Especially on behalf of the homeless, dude. Yeah, That's I mean awesome. they're the most resourceful. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta be. You gotta be creative when you're out there. Oh, speaking of homeless people, dude, yeah. I remember we went to Birmingham one time. Yeah, and homeless people just don't phase you. No, I was scared. Yeah. I was inside a vehicle. <laughs> the doors were locked, dude. Well, Me and Bryce were tweaking. We didn't know if that guy was homeless. I thought he was just drunk. He could have been homeless. Well, he was he was passed out on the ground outside mm. of a gas station. Yeah. And this other guy came up and tried to stab him. And Sci-Fi yeah. just didn't care. He oh, just yeah. walked out of the gas station. It had like, nothing, nothing to happened. do with me. <laughs> <laughs> I was really thirsty. <laughs> Damn. And before we left, I feel you. That's, that's it ain't got nothing it. to do with me, bro. Move. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's me. And before we left, we were at a different gas station in Madison, and Sci Fi oh, yeah. was inside. And I like kind of peek, and he's like hugging this man, and they're jumping around in circles. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. So I have a, uh, I have a, I have a, I guess you could say a vibe or something that makes people just go, "Hey, I'm gonna talk to you." Uh huh. Yeah, you and definitely I'm, do. And I'm always like, "Cool. What do you want to talk about?" <laughs> like, <laughs> I never shut it down. And this uh, old dude, uh, once again, I was thirsty, and I was in the uh, gas station getting this huge like thing of water, and this old black dude sees me. I'm in front of him, and he slaps the like gallon of water or whatever it was. And I was like, what's up? And he was like, I know you ain't going to drink that all, are you? And I was like, I'm going to try to. And he was like, you're going to be pissing all day. And I, and I was like, I don't know what to say to him. So I was <laughs> going back and I was like, who says I wasn't pissing already? And he just thought that was real funny. So he dapped me up. And then we just kind of, he mumbled something. And I didn't know what he mumbled. So I mumbled something back. <laughs> And that's when he kind of made me start like jumping. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, sci fi has that bounce. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. always <laughs> bounce. Was weird, man. That's the gnome in him. Yeah, <laughs> jolly as hell. I, I'm a very jolly person. Yeah, yeah. I used yeah. to hate it. You're a joy to be around. Thank you. Oh, thank, yeah. you yeah. thank you. I had, to, I had to learn to be myself to do that. Okay, okay. Yeah, I used to like want to be seen as like more serious and like edgy almost. Uh huh. And <laughs> over time, I was just like, that ain't me. Damn, dude. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's beautiful. 
I don't know if it's beautiful. I, mean, <laughs> I think it's beautiful, dude. Oh, I right. think you're a beautiful person, dude. I think you're inside a beautiful and out. Person. Now you guys want a room or something? Only if you're <laughs> there with us. Dom's hating <laughs> yeah. ass, dude. Right. He got me fucked. It's gonna be a trifecta either way, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Are you perpetuating? Like, hey, he said, uh, like he was a little excited. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, let's go with this, dude. Top three comedians. Mm. I feel like that's integral question. Top three comedians. Um. I say these top three that made me even get like love comedy. Mm. So, so there might be somebody you hear and you're like, but this they write they don't write as good as so and so. And I'm like, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It's your, your favorite. But yeah, yeah these favorite. guys made me fall in love with comedy. Number one is gonna be Eddie Murphy. Great. Number two is George Lopez. Okay. Yeah. I like George. And number three is John Mulaney. Oh hell yeah! Did not expect that one. They they all kind of made me realize, like Eddie Murphy. I've heard like comedy growing up. I used to watch BT Comic View. Mm -hmm. That was like my introduction. That's my shit. Yep. So I got accustomed to black comedy, Mm -hmm. and uh, white people just weren't funny. You know? Yeah. (laughs) That's the way I thought. That's just the way it came Mm -hmm. off. So coming up, I'm like, okay, black people are funny. So when I start listening to George Lopez, like on some on a weird tip, like he was just something on HBO Max, and I was mm-hmm. like, "Let me I'll watch this." And he had me cracking up about things that I had never understood before or never witnessed with my two eyes. Like he's talking about, you remember when you're growing up as a Mexican kid, this, that, and the third, and the way he's setting it up, I can believe I'm there. It was like he was painting a picture that was so great. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, okay, cool. So George Lopez is funny. And then John Mulaney came around, and I was like, this dude is just weird. It's this super weird white guy. But he was making me laugh coming from angles of things I'd never heard before. And then things also that uh, that were true to me. Like, he had this one joke where he talks about uh, he's trying to catch a train, mm-hmm. and, he's, and this lady's in front of him, and he thinks she's trying to catch a train because she starts running. So he starts running up behind her. And she keeps looking behind him. So he's like, oh, is something chasing us? So he's looking behind him. And he says the whole time he never realized, oh, I'm a grown man chasing this woman <laughs> at night in a train. <laughs> All this time, I thought I was a little boy. <laughs> like, <laughs> you get, you, <laughs> I heard that right around that time where I'm like, tra- like I'm becoming a man. Uh huh. So I'm still like, oh, I'm young. You know, so I'm doing things. I'm like, hold on. People see me as a grown ass man out here. I got to. So it just really made me laugh really hard. I like those I three. I think those three go together. Too. Hell yeah! Thank you. Hell yeah! Thank you. It, it, like like who you are? Because you're you smart. Think? You're smart like uh, Mulaney. You got the uh, stage presence. I think of uh, Lopez. Like you just you just you can get along with anybody wherever Lopez is at. Mm. Whatever room he's in, mm. he's getting along with the people, even if they're so much different to him. That's what I always give you credit for. You can pull a room, no matter no matter what the room is, all black, all white, mixed, whatever. True. You pull them in, yeah. and you make them listen to you, and you always hit them with them bangers. I, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. You know, it's funny. Everybody always like, uh, I'm really good on looking out. Like it's and it sucks that it sucks to have this habit, but I'm really good at seeing the positive in everybody. Mm-hmm. And then when it's time to look at me, I only look at the negative. So like, I can tell y'all about all y'all styles and how I like your styles. But when people are like, oh, what's, what's sci-fi style? I'm like, oh, I don't have a style, bro. I don't, I don't know what my comedy is. <laughs> but then, I, but I always try to be relatable, and so thank you for saying yeah, that. Well, that makes you a good comedy. True. That's, you know, nobody can think you can't think you're good. You know what I'm but saying? But it doesn't come across like that in your jokes. In your jokes, it seems like you have a lot of self-awareness. Yeah, no, for I, sure. I, I think I, ha- I do have self-awareness. Uh, I strive to have self-awareness. You're just focusing on the negative because that's what you can get better at. Yeah, I think, and that's the thing that, uh, I don't know, just being happy that I did well at something, it's mm-hmm. like, oh, that's cool. I would. It's not like I don't think about doing well at something. Like, if I have a great set, like, if there's a pack show and I have a great set, oh, that night I feel like king of the earth. You can't say, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not being a dick. Friday, when we, we both bombed, oh, he was feeling it. He's yeah. guilty. Yeah. 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 You'll see, I'll be somewhere dancing. Yeah, I, I feel it. And I let myself feel it for that night, mm-hmm. and then the next day I'm back to normal. But if I have a bad one, 
it's it, that one's it's it's harder to shake off. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I slept for three hours Friday night. <laughs> it was terrible. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Nah. So that's that's kind of how that is. I just focus on the negative a lot, but the positive I do give myself credit for when I have them. You got to, man. I like how you incorporate the crowd Mm -hmm. into Mm -hmm. your jokes. Because I've seen you do... There's one joke in particular I'm thinking about. I'm not going to say it. I don't want to give your shit away. But I've seen you do crowd work with this joke probably five times. It's never been the same. The way he incorporates the person into Mm -hmm. the joke has never been the same. It's different every time. He'll even call back to the person in a different way. And I know he's doing it in real time. And in my head, I'm thinking, if I haven't gone up yet, I'm like, damn, I'm terrible at comedy. Because it's just so good. Like, he he kills it, dude. Yeah. He really I, uh, kills it. I figured something out. Um, I was watching Shane Gillis do comedy. Love Shane mm-hmm. Gillis, dude. And he was, hitting me, he was hitting me with so many funny history jokes. Oh, yeah. That it made me, I was like, I got to learn history because I want to do that. And as I was, like, studying history, because I, I just wanted to have jokes as funny as Shane Gillis. Yeah. And I was like, I fucking hate history, dude. I don't care about any of this. And it made me go, it's not that he knows history is funny. He's just talking about something that he enjoys or he's something that he's good at. Mm-hmm. So um, I was really bad at crowd work, not as in like, I don't know what to say to people, but I didn't know how I should end it, you know, mm. or like when they cut something off. So I started writing jokes. That forced me to do crowd work, but I have an exit whenever I want to. Like so, Ooh, if I'm wow. talking to you in the crowd and you're giving me good stuff, mm-hmm. cool. Now I can have a riffing interaction with you, and it's like I'm good at this. Yeah, come on, we can say funny stuff back and forth all day. Mm-hmm. But if I get one of those people who are like, no, I don't know, or you know, they're not giving me anything, mm-hmm. I can easily get back out. So, okay, okay. You have like a hard can you, exit. Can oh, you get? Because wow. I, I I need to learn this because I suck at I suck at crowd work. Uh, give me an example. Not one. Of, you don't have to be one of your jokes. Just an, just like a. Okay, so if I'm like, all right, I got a joke about who I know who, what kind of person you are. Whatever you order at McDonald's. Mm-hmm. So, sir, what do you like to order at McDonald's? Now, I usually I'm thinking of everything that's popular at McDonald's. Yeah. Previously. And I'm just writing funny tags that go with the, each thing. Mm. So whatever he says, I'm just going to go to one of those. Okay. Or if I know where I'm at, I can make a pretty much a good, high-educated guess. Like if I'm out in the middle of Coleman somewhere and I do a joke and he goes, well, I get you know, a McFlurry and an apple pie every time. I don't know shit about McFlurries and apple pies, but I can go, oh, that just tells me you grew up poor, and now you got a little bit more money to yourself. You don't forget where you come from. That's a lot of people. Uh-huh. And they'll yeah. just go, yeah, he knows me. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just that. But um, I don't know if I should have just given that away. No. Come on. What's going on for in college, dude? You're the professor. I man. ain't a professor. Now I feel like a magician. I'm like, ah, oh, damn, I still got to eat. <laughs> no, no, They're going to know the secrets. Oh, you get it. Like, dude, you inspire me too. Because whenever I see you go up there and do that stuff, man, I'm like, dude. How is he? Because it's like you're everybody's friend up there, man. Like, like yeah. it's like you already know yeah. that person. Hell I'm yeah. like, that's, dude, that's the vibe I really want to give off. Like, uh, not not because it's something that I'm trying to be, but because that's what happens a lot in my life. Like, I feel like that's my natural vibe. So mm-hmm. I wanted that to show on stage. Um, somebody who, somebody who inspires me to do comedy. None of those comedians I mentioned ever. Like, I mean. They didn't ever inspire me to do comedy. They just made me fall in love with comedy. Mm-hmm. The one person who inspired me to do comedy, who was like a celebrity, was J. Cole, the rapper. That 2014 Forest Hills Drive, mm-hmm. that album changed my life. So one of the things I love so much about the album was I was relating so much to him. So I was like, if I ever do something with my life where I'm creating, I want it to relate to people. Mm-hmm. I want it to be nobody's better than me. But I'm not better than anybody. I'm right here with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You get a lot of comedians up there who uh I know this one comedian, he, he would get he would get upset with me because I would make fun of myself. Like I would do something like, Y'all know how we do this? Well, I do it worse because I did it this way, you know. Mm-hmm. And he'll and then like I remember one time I was like, I'm bad at sex. And I was saying like I was just cracking on myself saying, I'm bad at sex because I'm mystic, mistake. Mistook, mistook, mistake, whatever. Mistaken. It happens. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I heard the podcast. You're whooping your ass. 
<laughs> Sometimes I'll be like, yo, he having a stroke. Get him out of there. <laughs> I'll be wanting y'all to edit in that one black dude from Rocky uh, 4 when Drago, when Drago kills Apollo and the ball has black dude's like, throw in the damn oh time. Oh, my God. I'll be wanting y'all to put that up when he be fucking up on words. Damn. But, um, oh, shit. He ain't lying, boy. He ain't lying. God damn. Oh, man. Y'all, y'all crazy. Right. Y'all crazy, man. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, that's that's how, that's what I'll be doing at all. He got that up fast. Damn, Brandon. Yeah, that up super uh, no, I watch that show that every bookmark. week. That's one of my faves. Yeah, man. Rocky's amazing. So you a comedian is bad because oh, yeah. you kept cracking on yourself. Because I was cracking on myself and then he would he would be like, Why are you doing that? You know, you gotta be this and this and that to these people and I'm like, No, I'm just me, man. I, and they're just them. That's mm-hmm. the there is no I'm not better than them, they're not better than me. I I tell them I'll make mistakes and then I'll tell them how stupid I am, how I do things, and how it makes my life funny to others. Yeah. But I'm like, bro, I really be I'm my worst enemy. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And so yeah, this guy, I'll never forget, he was like, Stop telling people about like that. Then he went up after me, he was like, I'm good at sex, y'all. I'm so good at sex <laughs> that I do this, this and I just remember it was the most cringy oh, thing I'd ever damn. seen in my life. Dude, there's one around here who goes up and and it's like I want to rip my ears off because he's like I get in the pussy like this, and I'm oh like, my and I'm God. like, what is happening? He's an old dude. About. He's not. A, he's not like a young cat. He's this old dude, and it just oh, sounds like yeah, he's yeah, molesting so, us yeah, with yeah, his yeah, words. That, Feel violated. No, that you know what it is. A lot of older dudes still look at like deaf comedy jams, <laughs> where it, yes. that was kind of cooler mm-hmm. because nobody was talking that real. But now everybody kind of grew up hearing something that real. Yeah. So now it's just like overly vulgar to us. Plus, you got to imagine, too, every comic, I feel like, when they first start out, if they're not trying to be clean comics, you're going to curse and be vulgar way more than you need to be. Oh, yeah. That's just always how it is. Until you start hearing your sets back, you Mm -hmm. go, ugh. All right, let me cut out some of this cursing, bro. I sound like... Real. Like, when I first heard my first set, I was like, I sound stupid. I'm cursing every other word. Yep. Um, but older cats, I, I feel like a lot of them still like in that deaf comedy thing. So they be like, yeah, let me show you. I I had a comedian one time talk about like physically inserting his tongue into women's assholes. Ooh. And he was like going step by step. And I was like, you got to stop, man. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. It's bad. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, he also too. has a, a bit like in his act where he like licks the microphone yeah bro. and people have yeah. to go up after him oh no it's cool mm-hmm. he's about to be COVID. Oh, <laughs> that's what i'm COVID saying dude. he's like that he's like the comedian like rudy gobert just yeah, shut the whole fucking thing down Hell yeah. to lick a microphone is insane yeah it's like how many people you think they watch <laughs> these motherfuckers they don't okay Hell. you know something no. weird bro yeah. when i was a kid i used to uh do sound at my dad's church uh-huh and i was just like young you know i'll make sure the volumes are right they pay me five dollars sometimes 20 you know, mm-hmm. to five became 20 I felt good but then I had to de- like break down all the microphones and I used to smell all the cushions <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> that motherfucker hot bruh it would smell like the backdrop of ass bruh like it was the <laughs> worst smell I've worst. ever smelled Imagine the microphone covers? Yeah, yes. because it's just people. Y'all be, hot is that a, why are y'all smelling the microphone? I don't covers? know. You know how you, <laughs> but you, you do weird things? Yeah. Oh, all the time. Yeah, my weird thing is I would smell I was smelling them when I was taking the uh I don't know the little the muff part. I don't yeah. know what you call it. <laughs> the <laughs> filter. styrofoam thing. It ain't styrofoam. The no. filter. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. It is. When I took off the microphone's afro, <laughs> I would smell the afro. Yeah, it I'm I'm sorry for even telling people that. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. No, but you could smell it because I like you. So I didn't know you was a uh, pastor's son. Yes, sir. See, I am too. It was okay. just my mama, and she was crazy. Uh, but, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, no. Whenever you gotta like uh, put the shit up, you know what I'm saying? You just you just taking it off and you smelling it, and then people like people have it been been singing on that motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, that motherfucker! You get Ooh. constant hot breath and just from mm-hmm. the back. Ew. Yeah, you ever had a tonsil stolen before? No, oh. I know what they are though. You'll get one one day. Oh, if you ever. If you ever accidentally go, oh, what is this, and smell it, it smells like pure death because it's just been in the back of your throat. Yeah, what what is that human instinct to smell stuff that comes out oh, of our body? Because we're disgusting. Mm. Yeah, we're disgusting at the end of the people. day, we're so yeah. disgusting. What's yeah. the weirdest thing you've smelled? Oh my, uh, <laughs> my toenails. 
You smell it? Like whenever, you know, but like whenever you, because I get, I get, uh, what's the ingrown, ingrown toenails, oh, right? Yeah, damn, so I got to cut that bad boy out. Yeah. I use yeah, a knife. Yeah. I just use a regular God, knife. Yo, that's so that look, military so, Rambo so shit. So look, so look you, you go in there and you pop it. Yeah. And then when you got to get it out of the skin, you right. got to cut that piece off and then pull it the other way yeah. so you can get it up out of you. And it smells terrible. Damn. But I always smell You're a surgeon, dude. I just want to stop you right there. <laughs> See, the VA, I hope y'all listen. <laughs> There's no reason you should have to live like this. Self operations. <laughs> he just gave us a foot operation. <laughs> break down. He said, you got to cut that extra piece of skin off. He knew the exact Yo, maneuver. Yeah, this man knows the coordinates of the big toe cutting. But you cut it off and then you smell it? Yeah. I was yeah. about to say, we all know you can't You can't get your foot up but that high. But somebody can. Dude. <laughs> what? Somebody can't. Oh, get my foot up? You yeah, said that you could like, suck your own toe during sex. I remember this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can't. I haven't sucked my own toe during sex, but nah, you said I, that you I could. Don't, I, I don't know. That's one of the stories. Theoretically, you were I can't. I can put my foot extremely close to my. But he it's did do I, it. Yeah, it's something I used see, to I didn't do see it, as but a he kid. Told me. It's just something I used to do as a kid. You also said you could dunk, though. Ooh. No. Oh, I'm not. Yes. There what was happened? a summer in my life that I could dunk. No, you couldn't. I swear, <laughs> you cradle the ball. <laughs> you cradle the ball. This is his whole thing. He thinks that I'm coming up there palming it. You cradle the ball. That means you, you, you got to get higher if you I cradle know, the ball. True that. So you just out there with bunnies. Just... I, it was not pretty. It was not like I'm cocking back, like doing a windmill 360. <laughs> LeBron James Miami Heat era dunk. Uh-huh. I'm going straight up. Yeah, and I'm, I'm scapowing that mother. I just don't know the story. Huh? You stick it to the yeah, story. I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know about the validity of that statement because you have a joke about how bad you are at basketball. No, I am mm. terrible at basketball because I play football a lot. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not saying I was a. I'm not dunking in game. I'm not dunking in game. This is not one of those things where it's like. Oh, I can dunk. Uh-huh. It's like y'all move out the way. I can show y'all. Yeah, I can yeah. Dunk, but no, no. I know what you're so saying. I, I still, I still don't My think lateral you did that. movements are terrible. <laughs> you know what? I don't believe you're a citizen. I want to see some paperwork on you. All right. Yeah. You don't believe I can dunk? I don't believe you don't have some information that the United States Homeland Security Department won't seem as incredibly valuable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, look, man. Yeah, man. Always picking on people. How'd you get those Cuban <laughs> cigars, dog? Yeah, how'd you get those mm. Cuban hey, cigars? I, saying, I can't tell y'all. I'm a Kachiba. I want to touch on that. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? Get get some of that you, ever had a fever dream? <laughs> you ever had a fever dream with Saddam Hussein's bodyguard tries to molest you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just shit. looked over. He said, you want to touch me? <laughs> <laughs> Brandon's like, oh, yeah. I had yeah. that happen to me Why one time. Why the fuck did I almost stand up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I hold up. Let me touch that shit. Brandon <laughs> knows the procedure. Brandon oh, knows the procedure. It's the Pavlov. I don't know. The <laughs> dog. What was Brandon talking about? We got to bring this up. Oh, on the, Saturday? On Saturday. No, was it Saturday? Oh, I mean, on, on, on Wednesday. Wednesday at, yeah. uh, at the mic. Yo, please, please tell the story. So Brandon tells us, he goes, y'all ever got picked on by somebody with special needs? Oh, my God. <laughs> so we like, nah, fam, what do you mean? What do you mean, have we ever been picked on by somebody with special needs? He was like, man, I was real trusting when I was younger. When you were six years old. <laughs> yep, six you years six old. six years old. Remember? Madagascar 2 came out. Madagascar, that's how Oh, you no, not that, not that young. <laughs> Brandon tamps okay, stamps bad, time bro. in his brain by what I had the time came line up. But Brandon goes, he was afraid to cross the jungle gym, monkey mm-hmm. bars. Yep, monkey bars. And this special needs kid said, don't worry, I'll hold your legs and carry you across. Mm-hmm. So Brandon said, okay. Brandon said he got about midway through and the special needs dude just slams him head first <laughs> into the ground. Like this, no, it was like this. It was worse. Hands up like this. Boom. Like a whip. Full he's, range he's, of motion. He's going like this, guys. Yes, like, he's going like so this. he's whipping you. Yeah, kind of, kettlebell he's slam. Whip me if, like, as uh, if he's trying to like put the loose bed sheet over. Yes, the bed. exactly. He's fanning your ass out <laughs> on my back, ground, on his back. So I was like, "Dang, that's crazy." And then Brandy said, "Yeah." So the second time, and we was like, <laughs> "Wait, what?" And Brandy goes, "Yeah, I was real trusting, and we we're just losing our minds, like." What are you talking about? He said the second time he did, we were like, Brandon, you really let him do it the second time? He said, yeah. But the third and final time. <laughs> we are like, what? He said, well, the second time he told me he don't really do that. That ain't in his nature. <laughs> <laughs> he just did it so twice. So I was like, it made me think of the old saying, fool me once, shame on you. 
Fool me twice, shame on me. But fool me three times. Are we sure he's the special needs one? Like, <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Yeah, there was a lot of questions around those years. <laughs> There's a lot of questions around these years. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> man, we uh, fighting now at the school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's, I mean, that's just gold, dog. Yeah. We, we couldn't stop laughing about it. I mean, yeah. it, it we were all painful. in shock. It just doesn't stop. Yeah. It, just, it keeps coming out. And then he was scared that his therapist was trying to avoid him. And oh, yeah. his friend. my God. Bruh, listen, hold on. I want to say this because I feel like people, they think well, it's it's an anomaly. or he, People will think Brandon's lying about some of this stuff. And then what's crazy is somebody will randomly cooperate. Yeah. Him. Like his, his fiance would be like, tell him about the time this happened. He'd be like, what? He was telling us something crazy, and he FaceTimed the dude, and the dude was like, oh, you talking about the time this happened? Yep. Mm-hmm. Brandon is a victim. <laughs> There's no other better Career way victim, dude. Yeah. I want you to think victim. of the luckiest person you've ever met in your life. <laughs> Everybody who has a lucky moment, you sent 10 unlucky moments. <laughs> <laughs> and he has to live them all. <laughs> it he does is, it with a smile on his face. And he does it with a smile on his face. Exceptional young man. True. I mean, the PE coach scene was cool. Remember? No. The, no, remember you, you, you called him banging? Yeah, wow, oh, yeah. that was the FaceTime. That was what the yeah, FaceTime Yeah, yeah, he called his two PE coaches banging. And what, how old were you? Like, probably eight. Why is everything Wait, hold on, age? hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let's see, it was two, five, ten. Well, that's when a boy. Probably <laughs> ten, <laughs> probably <laughs> ten. Like ten or eleven. Ten okay, or 11. okay, okay. Oh, yeah, in Jewish culture, you start becoming a man. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about Jewish people? Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> that's the way you look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That half German. You look like you out. have some interesting uh, opinions on Israel Palestine. Right <laughs> <laughs> I can't fuck with this. Uh, <laughs> if you lived over there, you could probably sneak in either way. Uh, I wouldn't. Nah, I wouldn't I fuck wouldn't. with it. I wouldn't go over there looking like this. You shouldn't. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> they might think you're a third party. Exactly. <laughs> They'd be like Hamas. They'd be like Hagen <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm coming hot. <laughs> I'm coming in hot. I'm sorry, I ain't be the roast that yeah, once. Nah, nah. I lost sleep. I lost sleep. Please don't do this. <laughs> we on TV. <laughs> oh shit, Damn, man! Dude. You opened up for a Matthew Tate. I did, right? I did. I opened Why up he... for Matthew. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. What are you about to say? I was gonna say I opened up for his uh, album recording. Yeah, yeah. Matthew yeah. Tate mm. was one of the dudes who gave me my first shot. Like he Hell put yeah. me on my first show. That's good shit. Yeah. I like man. I like Tate. First he got some I, good jokes. First time I did comedy was at uh, Boxcar, what was then the station. For real? Yeah, that was the first. I still got the picture in my phone from that night. Uh, so it, that's back when Matthew Tate was running it. Yeah, and he was the one that pretty much came up after I did my set. Like shook my hand, was like, "Hey man, keep doing it. Mm-hmm. Like, you're funny. Keep coming back." It was times I thought about quitting, and Matthew Tate was like, "No." You got it. You can do it. He, he told me whatever bullshit I needed to hear, you know. Yeah. Not saying that he'll bullshit you, but I was asking for some dumb shit probably. <laughs> knowing me. I was, uh, yeah, knowing me. I was asking for something. Yeah, <laughs> see, Tate's interesting because he, he was the guy, and whenever we came up, you know, yeah. we don't we don't, we don't don't know him that well because he mm-hmm. just started uh, coming back yeah, out. Yeah, he stepped but whenever, a little bit. But as soon as I saw him at Shenanigans, he did this 9-11 joke that I love. And I was like, I'm uh, sure you I do. I bet you though. do. Yeah, I was gonna say, I bet you do. <laughs> I bet you do. Yep. Yeah, leave me alone. People love when they incorporate saying, you in the this, jokes. Is this camera focusing in on me? Yeah, yeah. it's always on. You. Oh damn! I bet he does. <laughs> America, public enemy number one. <laughs> <laughs> you're, the, you're the one that parachuted out and got Tower Seven. Yeah, <laughs> golly. You watch, you watch conspiracy theory videos? No, I just I had this art teacher in the eighth grade who oh, showed me the him. Tower Seven video, and he told yes. me it was aliens that did it. Bro, oh wow! I, I, he was I, also I, a pervert. Yeah, yeah I love, oh yeah, no, those sense. teachers are the yeah, best. Brandon yeah, Brandon knows them. Yeah, Brandon knows for sure. They're neighbors. They yeah. <laughs> Brandon used to go, I'm getting extra credit again. I already got an A++, but he said there's more I can take. <laughs> I'm sure there is. <laughs> but, um, no, I used to have a teacher who uh, would talk to me and show me Bigfoot footage. And, like, his thing was Bigfoot was real. And that the United States government is lying to us about it because of, like, the genetic makeup. Or, and it make us ask, like, different kinds of questions. And what, I messed up by telling him 
he was like, do you believe in Bigfoot? Like, he he just was asking on something casual, mm-hmm. or so I thought. <laughs> but he was like, you believe in Bigfoot? And I go, well, if you look at history, you have, like, the Yeti over in Asia. Mm-hmm. In Africa, they have, excuse me, like, these big humanoid gorilla, like, that looks like Bigfoot. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? I think if multiple cultures have a creature... Maybe that creature exists. I'm not definitely saying Bigfoot existed, but mm-hmm. that makes sense. I'm not if they went extinct, cool. If they came out and said dragons were real, I'm like, I believe that. Multiple people talked about dragons. No. Cool. But I don't think there would be this huge conspiracy to lie to us. And he said, Cool, I know I got another brother in the squatch. <laughs> like that's what he called. He started calling Bigfoot Squatch. And that's when I was like, Oh shit, I'm a part of this. Thing. You in a cult now. I'm deep, yeah. <laughs> you all the way in there. I'm getting different levels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh I had a crazy teacher too. But why do people go so hard in the paint for Bigfoot? Like why are they so di like why does it matter? Like, I, I feel the lock, same lock way lock about like um Yeah, Lockdance Monster, I don't know. Off of one picture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of one picture. That the dude said on his deathbed was fake. Mm-hmm. Like, totally, he was like, yeah, that's just not real. But, but people, people just want to believe, believe Yeah, they want to believe that. They just want to believe. All these, like, sometimes conspiracy theories aren't conspiracy theories. They're just, like, something that people are trying to hide. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you were talking about, like, uh, let's say, Kennedy assassination or, or Martin Luther King's. No, yeah. it, it was a conspiracy theory at the time, but people were just trying to hide that they yeah. shot him, right? True. But some of this shit, Earth is a fucking dome. Come oh, on. Yeah. But okay, okay. But I'll say this. You Wait. bet not. The, the, uh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> stay, stay with me now. Okay, okay. Oh damn. We're okay. You know, people flat Earth. Yeah. And yeah, then that's round exactly Earth. What I was yeah. Here's here's my thing, right? Who the hell? Like, like why does yeah, it matter? Why? It does my matter. My life is not going to change. Exactly. Physics. I mean, no, everything. My math, life is not going to change. At least I can say this. Claimer, because y'all might get taken off the internet for this one. All I say. <laughs> At least people saying like stuff like, okay, the whole vaccine mm-hmm. going, okay, that's just the United States government trying to do X. Mm-hmm. It's usually something where I can go, okay, maybe. I, there's a there's an idea there that makes sense. I'm not saying I agree with it. You're trying to do population control, whatever. Okay, at least A makes gets to B, which gets to yeah, C. Yeah, 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 I get what you're saying. But to say they don't want us to know the earth is flat. Okay, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> what does that stop us from doing? It? <laughs> right. How is that affecting my everyday life? Because if the United States government came out and said, "Yeah, bro, the Earth is flat," I would be like, "All right, cool." I'm the same yeah. way. I'm the same. same here. I'm gonna live my life the same way. I don't give a fuck. Exactly. Same. I don't it trust just them. Now, can't be because of the physics of it. How they ca- do all I, these calculations. I, I, I'm not then disagreeing the, with you. Yeah. Everybody who's learning whatever calculation that is, they determine to you know. To go outer space and, and figure yeah. all this yeah. shit out, then they would all be if learning they went the wrong to space, shit. Dude. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. It's, it's, I'd say it like no this. way. If they want to be like, if they're if they're stupid, which I kind of think they are, because it's such a, a dumb touched. argument to take up for. Yeah. But cool, go ahead, raise your finances, and I hope y'all get to space and y'all see that it's round or flat. I hope that y'all get whatever y'all need. I would love I just if they hope spent all their money to go Yeah, up just there. go do that. Oh and just to gosh. see that it was round, nothing would make that. me happier. That's and like they, they went like... into complete debt. They fucked up their whole family. You know <laughs> That's when they drank the that Kool-Aid. That would really bring joy yeah, to my want, life. You want, it's when they drank the Kool-Aid and shampoo? hit that fucking button, the Challenger explosion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's it's when like, they end it all. He's like, I cashed in my child's college fund. Yeah. I cheated on my wife at a flat earthers convention with a woman named Maria. Who I'm pretty sure gave me an STD. I'm just yeah. too afraid to go to my doctor and figure oh, it out. Shit. All for the name of Flat Earth. <laughs> That's what you want. Yeah. That's wild. <laughs> because it's insane to, to it believe these things. It is. But you got to imagine, too, in their defense. I, even Bigfoot. I give you Bigfoot because yeah. it probably was something True. that looked like a fucking... Yeah. There was at no, one point. There was like an ape. It yeah, was like yeah. a, a the skunk ape or something. or something like that. Yeah. Nah, you talking about some Avatar: the Last Airbender? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just mixed two mammals together. I've heard that somewhere. You talking skunk ape? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's some sort of. I think it's the Florida version of oh, Bigfoot. Oh no, that's, no, that's, that's just okay, okay, okay. 
That's bath salt. Yeah, mm, shit. You ever did bath salt? Fuck no. Oh, yeah, you thought either. about it? No. You I'm, never a, I'm a real it? natural kind of guy, so mushrooms. Mm. You don't want to know the truth. Oh, you never rode you never rode the white wave, huh? No, never. Oh, yeah. never, never I'm not gonna say it's fun, but I'll tell you this. I freak time. out when I don't do boogers. it anymore. I freak out when there's <laughs> boogers in my nose. So I could only imagine. Like, well, there won't be any boogers. you'll make sure there's no booger in your nose. You'll burn them out. You can get a clean tube right to the brain. Anything going in my nose freaks me out. You gotta deviate it, Septon, dude. Snort. Coke. I yeah. could, Self-solving I problem. I'll mm-hmm. tell you this. You look like a Floridian who does a lot of coke. Oh, for mm. sure. And Thank you. You look like any Tampa strip club owner who sells <laughs> coke on the side. <laughs> Brandon, you just look like any victim in Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's me. I got bit in the ass. Y'all are stupid, man. Brandon uh, looks like somebody that like got killed on a roller coaster, I feel you like. You do. Oh, yeah. You look like a Final Destination victim. <laughs> <laughs> you get like two lines. I'd be like, oh, and then shit. Like, you see your top half getting ripped off. <laughs> He's that dude they always talk about that got decapitated at Six Flags. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Damn. Brandon. Over my iPhone 5 or something. What? You know when people yes. jump out for their phones? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's what I just want you to know. If you jump oh, out yeah. for an iPhone 5... Fuck that. Yeah, you gotta hate capital. You shouldn't have bought <laughs> that flash pass yeah. at Six Flags. You shouldn't have. You it should just destroyed you half your bank account. Get some of this up in you. Yeah, do your thing, bro. I'm telling you, I'm here to have a good time. I'm oh, having a good time. I'm having you, a great time. But you check both do, those cameras. Show, uh, yeah, yeah, check, I check the, cam- the cameras. Check, yo, show, I wanted to show y'all a gift. I wanted to be the first person to bring y'all a gift, but then I found out I was third because Nico and Sierra brought you a gift. Mm-hmm. I wanted to, you can take it out the box, you can leave it in the oh, box. Oh, you brought this? Yeah, I brought that for you. Oh, y'all. shit, hell yeah. Do you dude. remember 1990s Kevin Sorbo? Yes. Hercules? That's, that's the what, best one. That's the, look. Come I, on, baby. I did that because I knew it was something you would recognize, but it's something like that's so stupid because Funko Pops to me are dumb. Uh huh. Because I'm like, they're toy dolls, but his generation loves them. Yeah. I figured mm-hmm. it would be a cool bridge for the two of you. Dude. Dude, I got first of all that's badass, and I do because whenever Kevin Sorbo used to come on this one, yeah, Zena would come on. Yep, Zena Warrior they Princess, were like a my boo, and hey, show. dog, that was some good <laughs> shit. Yeah. 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 yeah, he got turned on when I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Funko game. Oh, right? he got Funkos. Is that? Hell yeah, this is Muhammad I got Ali. A, that's a black and white Muhammad Ali. Yeah, yeah. yeah he has right. a Jim Crow era Muhammad Ali. Yeah, that's Cassius. That's Cassius. That's Cassius. Yeah. <laughs> you be eating Jimmy Jams when you were sitting there? <laughs> oh no, bro, that is not Cassius. Catching on, dude. Fam, yo, anybody, Dom thinks Jimmy Jams is an appropriate way to say hot dogs. That's what they're called. <laughs> Nobody people call, I'm just saying, like, people going to watch this and be like, oh, yeah, I call him Jimmy Jam too. Nobody says that. People say that. Anything. I don't think I know so. people from Washington. I've when never, it, I've never asked, whenever I've went somewhere and I said, I want a Jimmy Jam with this and this yeah. on, they never question me. Because they probably thought you was meant to be And they're like, we know his kind. They love hot dogs. <laughs> Is that what they call yeah. them in Syria, dude? Yeah, 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 right. I thought y'all couldn't eat them. I was gonna say, I don't think they nah, they got shit. all beef ones. Oddly <laughs> enough, they have to eat Hebrew International. Yeah. <laughs> Those bitches are fire, though. Yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> Those bitches are nah, fire. Bro. I think all mentally handicapped kids love hot dogs. It's true. That's what they, <laughs> I used to volunteer at a special needs camp every year. And that's like, for one thing, one thing they always, like a majority of the kids, uh-huh. would be like, I only eat X. 90% of the time, it was hot dogs. <laughs> it was really interesting. I never understood why. What, what did you do now? I was a counselor at a special needs camp. Okay. That's how you met Brandon? No, no. Nah. <laughs> I met Brandon. <laughs> I met Brandon <laughs> coming through a therapy office. Yeah. For real? No. no. Oh. <laughs> he said, yeah. Like, yeah I know. He said I was, that shit fast. I was, he was, ready to I play was trying to make a quick joke about it, but him saying, yeah, threw me off. <laughs> I was committing it. <laughs> yeah, he was... What if he told you a real story that you didn't remember until just now? Bro, he would be some kind of demon, like <laughs> Hellraiser, except for the pain happens to him. <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. Nothing. I don't know. <laughs> We're drinking, what right? What was that signal? Yes. I feel good. Good. You should. You want to suck on this? So what is up with you in this dialogue? <laughs> no, I didn't know if you wanted to, because you had your glasses on and shit. Well, nah, I have my glasses on. You act like I'm the weird glasses one. glasses on. To say you, first thing you said is, hey, come look at this. And then you said, you want to suck on this? I'm, I'm the one in the wrong? Bruh, I want Chris Hansen to come in here and have a uh, play-by-play of everything you said. You asked him if you want to suck on The transcript. <laughs> yeah, he got the transcript of just things. Yeah. You're, you're big brown poppy 97, aren't you? <laughs> you asked him if he wanted to suck on. What does that mean? <laughs> I used Dog, to love that show. I do. Oh, 
uh, How to Catch a Predator. How to Catch a Predator. Come on now. The best thing. The, uh, the, 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 well, I don't know what he was, but he was brown, some kind of brown. He came in there butt naked. Oh, yeah. This thing that came was, in there yo, butt I, ass naked. He was dog. ready. I, yo, yeah, there they will be episodes. The no, worst kind of child that. predator. Like, the one they, that skips this, the foreplay. <laughs> you know, for real. Because <laughs> it would always be the same shit. Like, it will be the uh, young actress playing a child. And she'll be like, come on in. There's some iced tea and brownies on the stove or whatever. And it's like... <laughs> I'm going to do this laundry real quick. And every now and then you have a dude who's like, yo, I got to get my dick out before she comes, which don't get me wrong. Predators are just disgusting. We can all agree mm-hmm. on that. Oh, they're yeah. the worst. Hell yeah. They're not the damn. worst. It's the dudes who get butt naked in the damn foyer. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the worst because you're a different kind of animal. Yeah, yeah. He was, you don't give a fuck. He probably knew and it he was a trap. That. He said, he, it, yeah, it, it ain't like he went, there. you know, yeah. so you would think somebody would go pull up their, uh, get their shorts or yeah, whatever. Yeah. He Chris, just sat there butt yeah, naked talking to Chris Hansen. Oh, out, hell like, no. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, nothing. I didn't know. I love when I didn't. Know. It's, he it's didn't like even looking ask at him. a child. It's no, it's for it's like looking at a child. Like if you ever have like a niece or a nephew or anything, mm-hmm. oh, when yeah. they lie and you catch them in the lie, <laughs> they'll go to the just the like you're like I didn't even ask you that yet. Yeah, you're like so what are you doing? She said she was 18. What I didn't ask you that. <laughs> yeah. Let's just say I didn't know who you were. Uh huh. Let's say I I'm doing some housework. I just came over to ask, hey man, what are you doing? I already know you lying, bro. <laughs> already. I grew up watching Cheaters. Uh, Cheaters was the shit. That nigga ooh. got stabbed, too. He got stabbed pop, in one pop, episode. Pop that was on the best boat. episode. Yeah, he, mm-hmm. uh, he tried to get... Was this you? Some nigga said, nigga. Uh, uh, yeah. Damn. That shit, that's when I knew that shit was real. No, for real. Sometimes you'd be like, come on, this shit hey, crazy. Yeah. No, that shit you know how real you, you know how people say, oh, we, we getting desensitized? There was nothing better than when that dude was on the boat bleeding. And at one point, <laughs> they put the camera on his face because they don't know if he's going to make it or not. He said... Uh, try faster! <laughs> like, <laughs> oh shit, he might die. Like, nah, that was that was really good. Cheaters. Yeah, Did you ever see the one it. with the uh, the old couple? Which one? It was his old player. When he, when he wasn't playing no games. He was like, "You caught me, bitch! I told you." Like no, that? No, 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 no. Oh, that, that's I, wait. That may be it. But he, this guy, he's clearly in his like fifties or sixties, and this woman is like, "You cheating on me?" They confront him. He on a date with another girl, and they're like, "You?" She like, "You cheating on me? You cheating on me?" And he like, get that camera out of here now. Like, he ain't, he's not saying I'm sorry, none mm-hmm. of that. He was like, get that camera out of here now. And she's like, you cheating on me? I gave you the best years of my life. And he goes, look here, ho. Yeah, I told you who I was when you met me. I'm a player from South Park. Like, he was Dang. not stepping back. I remember watching it and going as a kid like, yo, I didn't know these kind of men existed. <laughs> <laughs> and he ain't play no game. Yeah, he, he wasn't playing no game. And he was not accepting any fault mm-hmm. at all. Like the one he, girl, She was wrong for bringing these cameras yeah, over here. Yeah. Catching him. He, like, that he, was you ain't gonna, You yeah. ain't going to leave like, whenever you, you fucking get done with dinner. Like he, 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 he owns some players. Like no matter how you feel about how misogynistic it might be, whatever. He was on that. Like, oh, I, yeah. I was giving him that. I mean, like, that's an old school. Game. Yeah, that's a you G are right something. There, you say some shit like that. I can't even teach that's you a... anything. You are that. That uh-huh. you are that player, bro. And uh, was so crazy. He was. She ruined the day. He said, "Look at you. You ruined my date. I'm getting out of here." She she talking stuff like, "You, I ain't never gonna be with you again." He lied. That's what they all say. Like he just talking shit right back. By the end of the episode, she's like, "I ain't never going back. I ain't never going back." Then they be like, "The conclusion." Cheryl took him back two yep. weeks later. It was like, bro, he ain't playing. He, he ain't is playing. that, whatever it is. He told her, he, he said, you're doing playing. all this shit when you know you're going to be he right back right with back. me. And but, I think, bro. But the truth is, you can't be mad at him. If True. he was like that from the jump, can you be that's upset? What I'm, that's what we're yeah, saying. maybe warned that, That's one of the things I try to tell people. Like, when they're like, oh, so-and-so's a piece of shit. Usually, if I, if I don't know them, I'm like, yeah. I didn't know he was a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. But when we all know some somebody's people, like, bro, you knew they was. You knew it. Yeah. People tell you who they are. That's exactly. one thing people are always going to do. They're going to tell you who, who, who they are. Who is it? That, mm-hmm. uh, that ex-basketball player, his uh, wife just started an OnlyFans. Oh, he my God. Upset. Joe uh, Smith, Joe right? Smith, yeah. yeah. And then it came out, like, his wife was like, he was like, I can't believe my wife get naked on camera. Then it came out. They was like, no, when he met her, she was doing porn. I was like, mm. Joe, how are you mad? This you is can't. when she was mad. This are you is, sure you can't believe that's it? That's what you walked in. There's video evidence. <laughs> right. Right? This is so much evidence. This is, she cool with that. Mm-hmm. That Some people, some people call it Captain save a hole, whatever. Mm. Yo, whatever somebody want to do and what they going to be, let them be that. Yeah. You just don't but have you to can't get mad at her. her. You, you can't, can't be like, yeah, you true. Can't she mad. was a fucking porn star. You wiped her up. Right. Shit ain't going good. She yeah, know how, she like, I how she know how to make money. If shit ain't going good, how she know how to make money? Fuck it. Hell yeah, yeah, like Rock. That's how she make money. That's, you know, mm-hmm. 
Like you said, like Rocky. Yeah, you remember he only knew what? how to box, you... so he had to come back. Okay, but you, this is this is like the fourth or fifth time you brought up Rocky. You want to watch Rocky? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I wouldn't mind. That was your movie when you were growing up, huh? Oh no, that's my movie now. Uh, <laughs> that's the smile on, on his Brandon face. Brandon wants to have a boys <laughs> night. A boys night in when we all watch Rocky. Yeah, and yeah. just eat steak. Full and series. The, <laughs> the full series. So oh. it's going to be a week. I, <laughs> side note: This is so stupid. I think crack probably is the best thing for your joints. I've seen crackheads run, oh, yeah. jump, flip, and land. From, yeah, flip. They don't I've seen a pain. crackhead yeah. run like blade. Somebody tried <laughs> to run him over, and he just started running, and he <laughs> ran up the car, and then landed. It didn't even turn around. He just looked at him like, motherfucker. <laughs> I think crack does something great for your joints. Have you ever seen a video when a dude jumped off the roof and he came down? He was a crackhead. He paid him $20 to come off the roof. He's like, in my back. <laughs> <laughs> it's the funniest. I, I think my favorite... I think my favorite was uh, you remember the crate challenge when everybody was doing yeah. the crate? Mm-hmm. And it's this one. I don't even know if he a crackhead, bro, but he just down bad. Uh, he falls and they put the camera right in his face because they want to interview him. And he goes, when I came down. Oh that's the God. one I'm talking about. That's yeah. the one I saw. Yeah. yeah that, when I can't say it, though. Yeah, that, that, how he says it. When <laughs> I came down. <laughs> that was the realest noise I've ever heard. I was like, yeah, that shit hurt. I know his hips and his It's like body. prisoner of war yeah. camp sound, yeah. dude. <laughs> like, you ever hear a noise, like, and you just, it like, it rocks your soul because yeah. you know Blood it's, curdling, like, dude. It's like, blood curdling, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, okay? When I came down. <laughs> I'm trying to make y'all understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Hold on, can you pause it, Brandon? Hold up. Yeah, that was okay. oh, shit. I just want if are they seeing this on the podcast? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna see it. Hold on, let me go back. I want y'all to know this is amazing. I've never <laughs> seen anybody. Nah, no, you play it. I'll tell you when to pause it. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Pause it right now. Not okay. Not Hold up. Slow, I'm trying to get the play. Your own. Your own. Pause right here. Uh, this is the first damn. time I've ever seen anybody who's going bald but still have their hair <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is a, Damn. That's crazy. He's got the fryer tuck, yeah, dude. Respect. He's got the fryer tuck, but he said, keep my hairline. Like, that's wild. But no, I love that Dom's video so be. much. That's one of the... Say, hey, some things are not okay to joke about. <laughs> damn. And you, you just know? went there. My bad, dude. I know that the steroids era was not a good That's why I got titties now. <laughs> okay. I'm, ha- I'm happy y'all brought this up. What? <laughs> People of America, Dom has apparently lived the craziest life of all time. What? Because he'll say something, but he'll say it like it's normal. Yes. Dom will be like, man, you know, back when I was in Hawaii, <laughs> I was driving a uh, convertible. <laughs> Those were the good times. I was just doing coke and shooting up with steroids. You'd be like, what in the Mark Wahlberg heaven is this? <laughs> Whole time, was time he was in the army. Whole time <laughs> he's just in the army. Yeah, so he's just talking. He's like, yeah, I was just, you ever smashed a Samoan woman while sniffing coke <laughs> off her ankles? You'd be like, no. <laughs> like, it's a lot of surface area. <laughs> they is some big No, but he will say shit big. like that. No, he's I love like, Samoan women. Every time I see a Samoan woman, I always want to, like, do O-lineman drills with them. I feel like... <laughs> Oh yeah, you can they run cool, Oklahoma though. with them. They like yeah, they like yeah. real cool and, and, and if they fuck with you, then they yeah. fuck with you. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Best. Type of shit. And that, that's how the, that, the dudes don't like white these whites. Yeah, Blake over here in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the the uh, you know why they don't like white people? It's a it's a um saying. We came you know? in and like took it over. No, it's yeah, not, yeah, it, it's, it's 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 about how white dudes when they get drunk because you come to Hawaii on vacation, right? Yeah, right, right, right. So when you come when you come to Hawaii on vacation, you get fucked up. Oh, you and then some white and and then the whites uh get you know they're just aggressive. They're yeah, just yeah. aggressive whites, and it's usually who, who they be out there, and then. They try to start stuff with the biggest, mo- like these dudes are so oh, big. Yeah, you no. can't phys. There's no way I could physically the do anything to this person because yeah. he's that big. And they'll just be like, "Yeah, I'll fuck you up." And I seen one dude. <laughs> he he was a bald head white dude. He kept on saying some uh, derogatory shit about uh, Afghanis. And then and the, and, the, and the, uh, Hawaiian was like, "I know an Afghani." You stop saying that shit. And he was like, "We'll go outside." So they went outside. And it was um, 
There's a brick wall. He, the uh, Hawaiian dude, whooped his ass, drug his head, his bald head across the brick wall, and Damn. skinned that shit for Damn. at least ten feet. And Jeez, he grater, graded it, and then dude, dude got up and he was like, "All right, man, you were right," and shook his hand. Hey, <laughs> you, by the way, <laughs> by the way, you know you just proved sci-fi's point by saying that, right? <laughs> you just said one of the crazy like American history yeah, exactly. X in reverse like exactly. fucking cheese grater head story, exactly. and you just said it like everybody's seen exactly. something like we, that. You know how you get in Hawaii. <laughs> No, when I no. ain't seen that shit. I've never seen that's a just man happened to be the, that skin just hap- another man's head <laughs> with hey, a brick wall. Great at that shit. I'm talking about some straight up, boom, 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 and was that doing was it. It wasn't. He had full, these. Look, if y'all ever come in contact with a Samoan, yeah. y'all don't want the work. Because they can move, they big like that, but they, they can move. Shit. And if somebody can move, they wake that fast. You don't have a. Ch- you don't. Have oh a yeah, dude, I saw the Rock. But see, not the Rock. They don't be big like that. I'll tell you like this. Look at me. I'm built like a nine-year-old Samoan boy. <laughs> Those are big people. They big, strong. Samoan people are one of the few people that be like, "What up, nigga?" And black people be like, "All right." <laughs> we don't say, we don't get too loud. No, they can. I mean, they can say it because I ain't gonna stop. Yeah, I ain't doing. Hey, I ain't doing that I shit. Be, damn, they can kick too. They can oh kick. yeah, you ever seen Haku? Too? Haku? Yeah, dude, that wrestler dude. They got so many stories about him pulling people's ears out and out. He was oh, fucking wrestling crazy. Is a yeah, I'm talking about a wrestling yeah. dude. Wrestling is a big thing in the culture, apparently. I was watching this uh, documentary on uh, The Rock's, what is it, grandfather, Peter? Mavia. Peter Mavia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's a big, like over, like in Hawaii. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. a, it was a, it was like this really cool subculture of theirs. Yeah, they owned a territory in the early 80s yeah. with uh, The Rock's grandmother. She was the top dog down there. And uh, I remember you had Rocky Johnson and uh, the Wild Samoans. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, they could rarely know that wrestling. Mm-hmm. Ran to be in his house at 4 a.m. with the blue glow of the TV screen, just watching wrestling matches from 1984. You're not wrong. Doesn't forget <laughs> a single thing. Exactly. His girl will be coming in like, baby, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> it's your He's time. like, Peter Mad Dog Johnson got two more rounds in him. I know it. He just kicked out of the 17th pin attempt. In a row. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the end of the podcast. Hell yeah, it was a it good was, time, man. It was a great one. Learned with a the lot. great sci fi. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> the great sci fi got jokes, dude. <laughs> Love them. <laughs> now it's your time to go ahead and look in this camera right here and tell the people what you got coming up or where to find you. Where to find me, even though my name is just sci fi. You can find me at Sci Fi Got Jokes on every piece hmm. of social media. Hmm. Every piece Ain't of, that something? Even my email is <laughs> Sci Fi Got Jokes at Gmail. Hmm. It's the only way I could make sure I got the whole thing. So Interesting. I have to. But yeah, um, by the time this comes out, I'll have done two shows, I believe. Just look out, follow me on anything, any of those, whether it be Twitter, TikTok. Uh, if you like hearing stupid high ideas, follow me on Twitter, Instagram for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I hey, appreciate it. it, man. Thank Thanks you for, for coming, coming, dude. Thank you. Hell yeah.